Hello and welcome to episode four of the IE Media Podcast. First of all, I want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers on YouTube. The channel's just hit 100 subs, so I'm grateful to see it moving forward. And I do appreciate all your support, whether it be in the form of a like, comment or sub. We've also had various audio listeners in America, according to my app's host location stats, from Texas to Pennsylvania and as far over as Russia last week, which may or may not have something to do with my next guest's proposition to Vladimir Putin, <laughs> which we'll get into later on today. But if you would like to support or come on the show, please contact me on elusive.media at hotmail.com or leave a comment and I'll definitely get back to you at some point. For the viewers on YouTube who find it easier to listen to audio apps, maybe while you're working like I do myself, sometimes listening to up to three podcasts a day, I'm glad to announce that it can now be found across the various apps out there, including Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Spotify, and tons more I've already forgot the name of. If you are listening back to this via the podcasting app, you can head over to my YouTube channel for my other types of content and to see the video version of this podcast and more. If you put youtube.com forward slash IE media as one word directly into your browser, you will find it because I've just got the URL link for uh, getting 100 subs. Yay. <laughs> or you can just search for the tags IE media podcasts. That's I.E space media space podcast. Today, I have a very special guest who's traveled all the way from Liverpool. He's also a previous guest of the Sean Atwood podcast, and I really enjoyed hearing his story while I was working on the app and his music so much that I went back and actually watched the video version on Sean's channel and enjoyed it twice as much. I then reached out to him about the music and potentially remixing his track titled Spiders in the Bath. I was amazed when he got straight back to me and then video called me the next day, kind of starstruck and blown away. But uh, yeah, I think it's about time I introduce the man, the myth, the legend, Jeff Ollerhead. How you doing, Marty? Good, good. Enjoy Martin or Marty? Any, any. Hiya, Marty. Yeah. It's a pleasure to be here, mate. It's really a good setup and uh, I'm made up, yeah. Thank you very much. I mean, I'm starstruck myself, if you get what I mean. It's it's not many times that I've uh, sort of come on podcasts since the, uh, the last one and, you know, and I'm made up that a lot of people have reached out. And enjoyed the uh, the podcast with Sean Atwood and also with Billy Moore, yeah. and also on my own channel and uh, Uzi talking too. That I've got my own like sort of podcasts. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, as you say, because my brother works over our uh, Cliffy and Phil. They work over in Jaguar, you know, in the fact season. It gets mundane for all you uh, workers on the line and. You know, and, and they, they listen to podcasts and they want to hear something good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, just Easter's just passed. And oh, you were yeah. just saying then that you had a, a little track that I've maybe not heard. Oh, yeah. It's about, please, it's it's um, it's a joke. It's in a good jokeful taste. Please do not take offence because uh, uh, I always say the, uh, the great Lord or the creator gave us a uh, great humour, yeah? Yeah. And... Um, <laughs> He's, so this is called, has anybody seen Jesus Christ? Anybody seen JC? He's so good, he's so fine, he plays left back for Palestine. Has anybody seen JC? <laughs> Not since Easter Sunday, riding on a donkey. Anybody seen JC? JC, JC, JC. <laughs> He's so good, he's so fine, he turns water into wine. Has anybody seen JC, 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 JC? Not since he's the Sunday, riding on a donkey. Has anybody seen JC? He's not soft, he's not daft, he's got feet like a fucking off a craft. Has anybody seen JC? <laughs> not since he's the Sunday, riding on a donkey. Has anybody seen JC? She likes bread, she likes toast, she got mm, by the Holy Ghost. Has anybody seen JC? <laughs> I got it. Arms are wide, legs are tied. It's hard to boogie when you're crucified. Anybody seen JC? Not since Easter Sunday, riding on a donkey. Has anybody seen JC? 
He can sing, he's in a band He can't hold the Maltese in his hand Has anybody seen JC? Has anybody seen JC? Five white loaves, five white fish Feed five thousand little piece of piss Has anybody seen JC? JC, JC, JC Not since he's a Sunday Riding on a donkey Has anybody seen Jeffrey? And here we are <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much. That was absolutely awesome. Honestly, <laughs> I didn't know what to start with. I mean, a lot of people want me to start with the old uh, famous one I've done was a, the Purple Aki song. Uh, yeah, yeah. And you know, it's it's there. It's already yeah. been torn. And I thought, um, you know, we've got to move on. You know, yeah. and I didn't want to just be a carbon yeah. copy of the other There's shows and stuff. Yeah. yeah, even though I did, I did really enjoy it, and I, I was showing my missus on my little and that song <laughs> the other night, and they were in stitches. <laughs> Absolute stitches. It well, talking about your little ones, but I've got to make a big shout up because otherwise I would get I, I'd get the news. This one's for our Safi and Lil. They've got their own channel, by the way, Saf and Lil. They're on my channel, Jeff Ollerhead, um, and that's what they said because they always in in contact with yourself when they watch. We go yeah, live, yeah. we go live and stuff. So Saf and Lil, our Saf Safron Tiddle, yep. Safi T, Lily Buckley, they be made up. <laughs> <laughs> they be made up, and, and also the rest of me fanbo. You know, yeah. they want shout outs. Yeah, and cracks all over me. Yeah, so there you go. Otherwise, they'll be innocent. They'll be waiting yeah, for it. They go to yeah. sleep now. They'll probably watch watching. That's it. They want to, <laughs> they want to they've had the shout yeah. outs. Please subscribe to their channel. The links again. Yeah, definitely. Because it's good definitely. for you, like the youngins, because people don't realize, you know, a lot of, you know, it's, it's good. It's good creative, yeah, you know. Yeah. I'd say, like, our oh, Safi's getting into, like, uh, the audio and the, uh, what's it called, making videos and movies. Brilliant. Which is yeah. a good skill to have, you know, which is yeah. great. People think, oh, what are they doing? You know, obviously, you've got to be aware of what, what goes on on the thing. But yeah. we're there to protect and make sure that, you know, the adults like ourselves always do check. And, yeah, and trans- if you're, And if you are watching well. any youngins, please do not get in contact with strangers. Please tell yeah. your parents to away if anything's weird or dodgy Absolutely. you know the score you know and that's that's where it's going yeah it's scary isn't it these days because I watch a lot of these hunting groups that go around you know catching people yeah. the stings and stuff and it's amazing to see how many there Whoa. is there's like a couple every night going live and it's like Jesus, is that many of them in society so yeah definitely parents keep an eye on your children's devices and create some sort of relationship with them where they're not scared to tell you if something has been sick exactly. I mean, most most uh, kids they're not soft, you know. And it's great that we can raise awareness, you know, with this internet. Yeah. Because um, we had we had the dark. I think was this the, the dark shadow on Uzi talking to, and um, and, and he was the, he was the, he was the, he was the Peter Fowl catcher. And oh my, right, you interviewed sh- one. Yeah, right. We okay. show you. It's on the on the on one of my things. It's. I, it was the worst one I've ever done because I sat there in shock. Um, well, and as yeah. I said, it opened my eyes to how much predators are out there and stuff that he's showing me that I won't repeat anyway, but she was like, ooh, and it's, it's, it's really is. Personally, me, if they're convicted and, and the, the banks are right, brand them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. You know, and Absolutely. put on, put onto a thing because it, it just destroys lives. Yeah. Um, but there you go. That's we can wrap that up. We have to yeah. say that anyway. Yeah. Bit of awareness out there for Bit of awareness. the parents and the children. So yeah, good good place to start, really. Well, there you go. I mean, you got to put all your your bits and bobs in, and you know, I'm I'm trying. I will desperately try not to swear as well. You know, I'm trying to watch what I say. <laughs> Part of your lingo, dog, isn't oh, it? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. So um, I was going to say to you, what I mean, you, 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 your channel's called IE Media, yeah. Yeah. Well, so what does what does it mean? Ie medium. Well, my artist name is Elusive Exposure, like elusive with an eye. With an eye. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to make it not so much of a mouthful to say Elusive Exposure Media. That's it. And if so, you, when you get good, you mean it's just Ie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sadly, after sort of rebranding and starting the new channel in January. Um, and having graphics made and a website and stuff like that, I come to find that there's other IE medias, but not in the sense that what I'm doing. Okay. Um, but I suppose it's one of them things, really. I may rebrand if someone comes up with a cool name or the Marty show. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be cheesy, though. You we'll, don't want to be we'll, cheesy. Yeah, but I mean, it's early well, days. We'll see how it goes. I mean, obviously, your name's Hardy. You know, you got the Lauren yeah. Hardy, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know if a 
Martin Hardy has got a ring I think to it. it does, it does. And Martin. Marty Hardy sounds well, you, a bit... Yeah, but it's, it's mm. brilliant, but it rings, doesn't it? I mean, people don't... It's like, your name, I think, Martin Hardy. is you know, Marty Hardy. It yeah. sticks in. It's, it's the Marty Hardy show. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Do you know when you say your own name, though, sometimes? Yeah. It just sounds weird, doesn't it? Especially know. my name, you know. <laughs> it took me years to learn it in class. Jeffrey Ollerhead. You know, it's a long name, and I just wanted a name like Lee Jones and get off. <laughs> yeah. Write your name on those. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so you yeah. like, finger like before he even starts. And then, <laughs> God. Yeah, so yeah. there you go, Mum. I don't know why, bless her, she's up in the sky now. I don't know why she, Jeffrey, you know, oh, crazy, but. Sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, it's, it's 13 years. I mean, if anybody, it's always, it's always, I've always got to mention it because I always think that course, at yeah. the moment, my life's going in a good direction, Um I don't know if anybody's into it, but it's called neurology. Oh, where you yeah. see sort of numbers. If you see like two, 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 ten, ten. Yep. Have a look up Google, you know, the angel numbers, and they sort of give you guidance saying that you're on the right track and yeah. you chose that path because as you know, in this life there's a lot of choices all the time. You know, you can yeah. choose one. For instance, you want to, oh, I think I'll go for a pint. Yeah. And that one little pint with a couple of lads, two days later, you're in there hell of a mess which always used to happen to me you know and yeah. that's me downfall and I'm I'm on the track of goodness you know I will say I really really am conscious of saying letting you know because I, I love a laugh I love beer I love the taste of it um, luckily for me you know, that they've got zero zero yeah. that's one uh, one, one way of combating alcoholism you know well oh, you know, I don't drink every time but when I do I'm a binger and you know yeah all my, all my friends who know me and my family know them, you know, I changed, you know. That's why I made the song called Crankenstein, you know. Yeah, I'd <laughs> caught a bit of that before on your YouTube channel. It's pretty awesome, to be honest. It's yeah. quite heavy, isn't it? <laughs> the words, you know, it's it's, it's, it's obviously a heavy metal uh, yeah, sort yeah. of thing. Like drums, you just want to, like, what well, to capture it because what you don't realise is that people think, you know, they drink a lot of them and then, you know, the demeanour changes. And I spoke to it. There's an old... And, an old fella once, he said, you know why they call spirits, lads? Because what happens is uh, you drink that much spirits in you, spirits, then you will. Your, your good self goes, it, it disappears, and uh, you'll end up with uh, any demonic forces because your good self's gone, which leaves a cavity for these demons to just to jump in and drive you around. Yeah, <laughs> so they use yeah. you as a vehicle, you know. Yeah. And most of the time you'll end up in the, in the clink, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, oh, you wake up and think, what happened? Yeah. Well, you uh, punched a couple of pieces, man. You've, you've done this and you've done that. I was like, oh, oh. I, I, don't, I don't know. You don't yeah. know. You yeah. know, you have flashbacks. But that's, you know, and you think about it. I mean, yeah. the changes in people and it yeah, destroys people's well, lives, yeah. you know. I'd love to be that person who goes out like them. We'll go out and have three or four pints and, yeah. and then we'll watch the game and then we'll go <laughs> home. You know, yeah. alcohol is that drug where it's the gateway, you know, it's the gateway of everything, you know, oh, I'll have one or two, then your yeah, inhibitions, yeah. your guard goes down, you meet someone. I haven't seen it for years. Yeah. Then course. you start talking like we are doing now and things go, you know, and it's great. And then at the end of the night, because, you know, with like at the moment, like in Liverpool, you can go, go all night, seven o'clock in the morning, heaven till seven, heaven till seven. <laughs> <laughs> Having it large. It's, it's insane. And then yeah. seven o'clock. Nobody o'clock goes in, out for one or two, do they? It's you know what I mean? Seven o'clock in the morning, you're coming up with it and you're going to all the seagulls, you're all feeling <laughs> scatty. And then you're looking all around. All normal people going to work. And <laughs> you're jogging around thinking, what time's weather screens open? You know, like nine o'clock, you know, for the for the first bevy. Yeah, yeah. Once you get that first pint, it's like, breakfast. It starts again, you know what I mean? Yeah. Snowballs. Yeah. And you can tell, you know, and then after two or three days on a bend, you're just susceptible to anything. Yeah. The mood, and it takes me, uh, I mean, obviously I'm 51, now. it'll take me a week to get myself... Right, but it's the, the the feelings, the suicidal. I mean, this is where I can see a lot of a lot of lads who and who are new used to commit suicide. You know, I know a good couple where they they've had an argument so and they've gone out and yeah. they've, they've just gone completely whatever, went off the rails, got on the ale first, and then whatever come after it. You know, yeah, unfortunately, Which, yeah, yeah. The guard, the guard, you go. You, you, I mean, it's just common knowledge. It's just the way the society is now. People, yeah. oh, you can't. You know, he's not that. But that was just like. Having cocaine and drink, it was like egg and bacon. Yeah. Do you want a line on a cheeky one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and after two, first of all, you're like, no, I'm not into that. Like three yeah. or four pints and go, go, go on then. And then it's, yep. 
it's there, you know. I won't be the first, I won't be the last. And um, but luckily, I've been I've been locked in there following Lee Butler. Give Lee a Butler a shout, by the way. Oh um, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's on the sort of but you know, he's really enforcing his, his sober adulty and um, and he's helping a lot of people with it, you know, because it, it gives you sort of little philosophies in the day. Give yourself rewards. If you if you woke up with no drink or, you know, like today I've woke up and thinking, well, oh, I've got something to do. I'm positive. I'm here. Yeah, I didn't yeah, have yeah. a bevy last night. I didn't get on it. I'm fresh. I'm positive. I've got no arguments at home. I yeah, didn't yeah. piss the couch or piss the frigging bed. I didn't wake the neighbours up screaming somewhere, you know. And, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of good things, which I think, and then you reward yourself, give yourself a reward. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. fresh. Here we go. Um, uh, which moves me on to like life itself in general. Cause um, I'm lucky enough that I'm fortunate that I've, um, I got a job obviously working as a, as an entertainer, you know, and yeah, I've been following your Facebook and <laughs> seeing some of the nights, heavy, busy, packed out place. Busy that, packed it? nights. Is, and it, is, is it Smokies? Yeah, that's Smokies in L1, Liverpool, L1. So it's Creech. quite a popular looking Yeah, place. yeah. It's a funny story really, because I got into Smokies, it used to be called Smokey Moe's, um, oh, yeah. with Smokey Moe, Maureen Brownwell. I give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Mo and Joe, brilliant. Helped everybody, you know. Um, yeah. I was saying, I was out with the, on Ladies Day, and this is going back, I think it was like eight years, nine years ago, with the, the clan we got, when my mates used to go, Ladies Day on a Friday. It wasn't yeah. Ladies, it was Men's Day, it was loads of men. Right. Sh- showing off at the suits, you know. No way. And luckily enough, I got a good friend from the boxing world, uh, from the army, was Shane Airy. Yeah. He was an ex-world champion, uh, like well said. He was on the, he was on the fighter, People know him, Shay, and um, we start the army together. He used to knock shite out of each other, hence the nose. He was the first man to break my nose, by the way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? I've been watching some of your boxing stuff. Well, I fight yeah. from 1995 yeah, on the YouTube channel. I, I put that up, yeah. It got fights, well, I think it was one of the fights of the year in the amateurs yeah. that, that year. And, and honestly, like, you're such a powerhouse because that guy, had, he was quite a big guy himself. And every time he'd like, Smash you! You hit him back two, three times as much. He just, he just kept coming and coming. That's my second name, Oliver. Oliver's got nothing. He's got nothing in his head, man. We're looking empty head, yeah. And it's um, funny that yeah, you know, it, it's one asset I did have. You know, um, luckily it's it. Fight, yeah. You know, I've, I'm not saying I've been knocked down. I've been, you know, but I never got knocked out in the ring. I'd, I'd, I'd sort of get down or get up. Yeah. And um, you know, that's like Tyson Fury. You know, you can get walloped. I think it was more just I took it, you know, I knew it's coming. I think sparring when we first got uh, into the King's Regiment uh, with Shane Airy. Yeah. I mean, he obviously became a, a world champion, but he was ferocious punches. And there was other lads on the team as well. I mean, they all had a good dig. Sue Tomo, Lee Taff, uh, Carl Wright from Eintan, Zach Eco from Manchester, um, Big, big Davy McFarlane, Big Mac, you know, and they were all good to go, wow. And this trainer called the Bug, Clive Bug, he was called, you know, we, ooh, watch out, they'll be going to the Bug's gym, because he's just, he was just like the gladiator. Okay, if I want you all ahead to go in there with Neri and Carl Wright. Um, you're number one, uh, so when I say number one, we'll change. Two onto one, let's go. So, all I heard, you're number one. So next one, that's Shane Aird and Carl Wright. I'm coming at you. Yeah. Absolutely trying to pull you, trying to knock you out, because that was the laugh. We were fighting for fun, you know. Yeah. And the moral of the story was, if you can fight two, then one's easy. <laughs> you know. <laughs> right, okay. It's crazy, you know, you think nowadays you wouldn't get away with it, but, you know, you, you're actually sparring or with, with like eight ounces, nine ounces, like horsehair gloves, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it was, and in, in them conditions, he used to go like to do 10 to 12 rounds training. Wow. He'd, he'd always enforce 15 rounds in a, in a day, you know, stuff like that. So, a lot of conditioning then. Yeah, very that. much so. And, um, you know, to be honest with you, it was the diet and that killed me, you know, because I was boxing when I first started. I was at 10 and a half stone. I was, I was welterweight. <laughs> right, wow. Uh, I think I still am at the moment. <laughs> you know, just <laughs> I think I'm on 18 stone now, but uh, yeah. Hey, you always look good though. You, you're tall, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I, so I, you I, hold it well, man. I hold it well. I mean, most of it's muscle, by the way, you know, yeah. all, the, all the press-ups used to do. <laughs> <laughs> whilst incarcerated and stuff like that, you know, it's, we can go in soon. That's all down to yeah. drink, by the way, you know. Uh, everything, every time I got, I've been, I've done altogether behind 
the door was six years behind uh, in, in, in a jail. Right, okay. You know, yeah. and it was through drinking, you know, I was drunk mm. and, I, and I friggin' viciously attacked people, you know, and or they start on me and then I'd end up fighting. But at the end of the day, you know, yeah. again, I was I was the trained boxer, you know, yeah. and it's, it's scary, you know, that's... I know you got a song about that, haven't you, as well? Um, yeah, I think I heard you do. Yeah, the, uh, the I mean that's that's called all right, mate. Uh, that's when we went out to Tenerife. Um, right. <laughs> I think it was Mike Abbo's stag do. Uh, a lot of us from Morton, the Sandbrook, and all the Morton lads oh, on right. the Whittle. Morton massive. <laughs> 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 we all went out to Tenerife, and uh, I went out because I didn't. I, I wasn't. I wasn't going. I had no tickets until I went. I ended up in the big house. It's like the coaching horses and the cross. Right. And you turn up there. That's where all the lads used to meet. So he's all going. I'll go to my gab. at the time I was in a, a, a relationship, and I was just I just got bin bagged. It was great. It was it was just it was just fortunate that uh, oh you're being bin bagged, and um, unfortunate I think uh, a ticket was spare. Um, Young lad Gary, uh, he lost. Well, he had the heart attack, and he, uh, oh god, he's rest in peace now. He, he, he's you know he he passed away, and not not then, but oh, he had that sort of st- uh, heart uh, problem, and he had the ticket going, and um, it was just I said, oh, well, I'll go then, you know, I'll go. Yeah, didn't have a didn't have a carrot. I was skins. <laughs> Four the lads going oh, at the wow. time. Oh, come on, we'll be all right. We'll get yeah, you there. Yeah, we'll get you some. <laughs> get you there. No, we're not going to have a friggin' laugh or cry. And uh, it was just oh, a nightmare. But luckily, uh, we got we got over there anyway. But on the way there, we were all just on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. All on it on the bus. And <laughs> get to Tenerife. And the first night out, we're all dancing. But me, uh, my brother, our Phil, he... <laughs> He put 500, we had 500 euros. He said, don't worry, I'll fill it. He said, I've got your money. We'll, we'll sort it. Yeah. Look after that. I don't know why he gave it to me because we didn't want it. We didn't trust the room because we knew in Tenerife, you get fleeced. Even that they're all out of the cleans and everything. You know, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, and just before we went out to anywhere, I remember the Kev Dawes. And that, it's funny, like Kev Dawes, little Kev Dawes comes back with the, was it Danny Crocs? I'm not too sure. He's like, you don't believe this. <laughs> I've just had me kicks down and the busies there they just had me kicks down in the streets <laughs> I went what in the fucking streets you kicks down in the streets I was like that yeah <laughs> so I thought this is you know so I could like, keep hold of the money but he's, I had flimsy shorts on right no zips hello oh, so shit, we ended yeah. up in this nightclub and then um, I think we must have took the uh, the ecstasy the Gary's the Gary Ablets <laughs> tablets <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong bing, and I was all I remember. Like, I mean, I, this is that what they're saying. I was, I remember just, inst- he just got lost into the lasers and the music. Yeah, of course, yeah. I was on this podium, like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but I always remember this, like, uh, Cockney fella come over and he went, Oh, you white mate, mate, you know, because it was obviously off my head. Yeah. And he's obviously brushed me, Oh, my, my, my. And I was like, Oh, yeah, what's that? Then I came and get the alien. And went, There's no money. The fucking old wad's gone. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh shit. shit. So I was looking off my barn. It's looking around for the money on this podium. And all these like sweaty dancers. I remember some, not being horrible, but just as I'm doing this thing, this uh, like uh, gay fella must have thought, I don't know, I was busting some moves. And <laughs> my mate said I was coming on to him. I, 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 I don't listen. <laughs> But he ended up trying to like kiss me nipple, and I think I, oh shit, I think I gave him a fucking uppercut. I don't know what happened there, <laughs> but that was like a monk trying to get the money. Yeah, yeah. And then so our Philly said to me, you know, where is it? Where is this? You know, it's, yeah. I mean, oh, remember Phil? This fellow is, oh, you, I, my, my, my. So, um, what are you like? Push yeah. up close to you. Yeah, or... he just dipped me in pickpockets, professional pickpockets. It's just rife, aren't they? Yeah. You think about how many holidaymakers go there with the same intense. As soon as they have the, the, the ale again, it's the ale. And then yeah. the, the, the rest of the shite comes with it. And you t- and you just went f- shorts and flip-flops with bones of money because you don't want to leave it in the muck the palms. Yeah. Because they had the os, well, they had the os. See you later, laugh you off, you know. <laughs> Crazy, you know. Wow. And then... I swear to God, I was like, oh no, and our kid then, but they all had their own thought, no, you've pocketed it, or you've done something with it, or you've gone, and look, on my mum's grave, Phil, and this is on public thing, I never ever, you know, bunged your money, I'm not into that, like, you know, and I 
guarantee you now it was that. Oh, my, 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 my. It's very, I haven't done it for ages, but, um, you know, that that song we have recorded, um, I think it's on my SoundCloud, All oh, Right all Night, right. yeah. No SoundCloud, Jeff Holland, um, going yeah. out tonight, party time all the way, everybody loving it, say, 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 bing, bang, 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 bass, tunes in the place, people walking around with a stupid face, oh, 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 oh you, oh, 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 my, 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 <laughs> get the gist, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's hard to do that one, but it's there anyway. And then, pff, I know, that's yeah, that song. I mean, I, I, I you know, my mates uh, recorded and we were recording, and, and they said, I you know, I'm Lee Butler, blah, blah. This is the radio DJ at the time. He was doing the 051. Yeah, he was yeah. into all that sort of keeping, and I wanted to get it like mixed. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Opportunities, you know, we got in touch and at least said, Come on, my show, and we'll play you, you know. And uh, Grace, Friday nights, get up here at 10 o'clock, Radio City Tower. Wow. I thought, and then that day, like a dickhead, I thought I was made up, you know. Yeah, I'm a celebrity, I'm going to the Radio City Tower, I'll just go around the, at the time, the clipper. As no, now the Sandbrook, it's a, a boozer by ours, and when all that the, the assemble, you know, the first pints of the day, I haven't won, and I'll go to the shop, and I'll, yeah. five later, and I'm there, then, and then I, I ring me mates, Big Balls, uh, uh, John Curry, JC, <laughs> JC, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was a drummer in my first band, and the Kings, good King, go oh, by the way, very intelligent fella, he's got a oh, channel right. as well, John Curry, John Curry's music. Fantastic songwriter as well. So I've got to give John Curry a shout. I'll put the links on below as well. Um, yeah. Because it's like a community, isn't it? YouTube. Of course it is. Yeah. It's free to subscribe, free to watch. And you know what? It's great. Yeah. I think he's in a band called The Moral, the Moral Shakers. Yeah. Oh, At the right, moment, okay. yeah, Moral Shakers. He was in a lot of bands, The Inventors, and what was the one called? Oh, Christ, I'll come to me you now. The, uh, the Rudleys or... <laughs> <laughs> used to talk Belgium, they didn't know Amsterdam and that, yeah. But anyway, JC come come with me to, to the Radio City Tower that night. And at the time, he was on the ale, I was on the ale, and by fucking half nine, you almost like, we'll, we'll just have another one more, we'll have one more just for the nerves, you know, one of them. Yeah. And we got up to the tower, and I was, I would say, I was plastered, you know, like I was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Like properly friggin' done in because you had to walk up to there and then for the walk there, remember? I was trying to get me a a a e e i i o u trying to get warms up and all that. Just too but far gone, too gone. I went up there and then they put the messes in the lift and I went, <laughs> All right, Lee, you know, all right, yeah, 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 come here. And then did he, he know? Did he know? He knew straight away, he could yeah. smell it, the, 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 oh, the mean there. And he thought, and how you got you know what I mean? I thought, and John, John's lucky because he's got a bit of a good mouth. He'd be all right. We'll just say a couple of words, play the record, and then we'll get off because he yeah. wants to get back on the ale, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bless yeah. John, surely. You know? But that's the time. That was the way it is. And and then, luckily enough, Lee, fucking, he was laughing beyond like the comedy when get our heads together, you know. And he said, all right, then we've got Jeff Holland and he's made the song, what's it called, Jeff? And I was expecting to say, well, it's, it's about what I'm doing now. And I was like, uh, yeah, oh, my, my, uh, uh. I just sound is oh, absolutely no. awful. Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, live as well. Live, live or no, I think, it, I think yeah, and then John Curry had to show me them. And he, yeah, what it is then? And he puts it just like chipping. <laughs> and like you want to, because at the time when people get drunk, they want to maul people, you know, like just grab all your stuff. Yeah. And you know, it's funny, you know, I wanted to maul him and you know, you know what it is, like, uh, get off fucking smelly breath. I was smoking <laughs> at the time. So, just a whole, uh, it was just a nightmare. And I don't think uh, Lee's ever, ever talked to me since. Yeah. Lee, please forgive me, lads. You know, I'm on, I'm watching your channel. I'm on the road to your, uh, the recovery, you know, and I'm, I'm trying my best. Well, I'm not trying, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm get, taking, getting back in for another chance. Is, you, yeah. know, you know, you never know Lee's out there, but he's, he's doing great. You know, he's doing great for the community and uh, a lot of yeah. people follow him and get inspiration from him which is great yeah I don't know yeah. much about Lee but I did, I did used to hear um, like a dance show I used to do it at the weekends I think Radio City because I used to be into yeah. all the like Scouse yeah. Donk era kind of stuff I've heard DJ. some of your music by the way it's fantastic you know you, you are you know you don't, you've got to give yourself some credit you know you, you, oh, you're thanks, really man. You are very creative with your music and that techno and, uh, you know, the dance. It's drum and bass. Drum stuff, and bass. Right? It's all about drum and bass. Drum and bass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully this year I'll start getting a lot more stuff done because I've only had this room sort of at this level for 
what, about three, four months now. I told you, I think, yeah, when I got right, in touch yeah. with you after Sean's yeah. show that I was working on this room and I was going to start a podcast. And, you did. and here we are, like, over yeah, a year later. And so. you know what? <laughs> Sheen is believing, you know, it's really nice. It's a really good studio. I watched the... Thank uh, you, man. Who was the, uh, the lad you had? Was, what's his name? The previous one before me is... Uh, oh, Angelo. Angelo, yeah, he's yeah, a dude. Yeah. I mean, he's cool, you know, yeah, he's great. He was, he was from great. Africa, from, I mean, from what he, what he said, you know, he's in school and he was the only one who could speak English. Yeah, And yeah. He, he sort of got, like, frowned upon because he was, like, better than the teacher, you know? Yeah, yeah, Well, yeah. John made said it was a really uh, great show and that, I thought that was great and the professional, you know, the, the way you mixed it in. Oh, thank you. You know, yeah. I, I mean, my one, I mean, we started on the lockdown I and mean, we made Gary Lim. Uh, Gary just come up and said, let's do our own Jeff you know we can do our own yeah we're... is that the on the Uzi yeah Uzi to? talking to <laughs> and that's Uzi as in Uzi, 9 mil Uzi yeah UZI <laughs> talking with number two Uzi talking to yeah, you for the audio listeners with Gary that. and you know we've had some fun out of it but we, we just start off with the basics he yeah. had his phone and we had like uh we had a speaker under the table with the mic, but it was picking it up if you could. Yeah, but yeah. the audio was a bit mad, and and and. Yeah. Uh, but Billy Moore, bless Billy Moore, yeah, he he was like, he should be getting these and getting this and getting that, and and Gary's like, no, well, this is doing it's work, and you know, well, just, yeah, you just got to start with what you've got, aren't you? It's and you know, like, we got some really good guests, you know, like um, Eddie Williams. You want to get Eddie Williams on the show? He's a he's a hero, Facebook hero, round by. Uh, Ron Morton. He's a, he's right. a lorry driver, but he's got strong views, but they're all great, you know. Yeah. yeah He'll yeah. tell you how it is, and it's funny. So, Eddie, great stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's a plug, Eddie Williams. More than merrier, get in touch. <laughs> so, on Facebook, Eddie Williams. He's got Eddie ginger Williams. there, and you might see him sitting in a truck uh, complaining about the McDonald's burger. You know, it's funny. Ah, it, yeah, it, I've not seen that. I no, need to see that. I'll send you another thing. You know, I, I've got to plug these people because they plug me. And yeah, but yeah. all the big happy communities, as one would hey, say. Talking about plugs, I was listening to one of Sean's podcasts literally a couple yeah. of days ago, and he was plugging yours again. So we were talking about Walton, and he was urging people to go back and check out the podcast oh, that yeah. he did with Jeff. All had some great stories, and uh, yeah, I thought that was cool. So, yeah. do you know what though? There's a lot of it's just so close. I mean, you could be today just watching this and then deciding that you're going to go for a pint, right? Um, and you know that incident happens that night, so you could be just standing in there and something will happen. You know. Uh, I've been in situations since all this, and you know I call them trigger points. Really, what through being well stuff when, when I'm working? I mean, I'm working. You know, I'm, I'm, I work in actually I work in Smokies, which is a big venue for bars. So they're all drinking, and, I, and I, I I seriously don't drink. You know, the odd one I do. I I, I do sometimes slip like a Paddy's Day, or yeah, someone yeah. comes in. You know, and I try my best, but the rule is that, that I don't drink. So I I, I see the other sides. It's, it's, it's you know, yeah. And uh, some lad came in one time and he was like, oh, you're getting it, you're getting it, you're getting it. And I first thought he was messing around, one of my mates from. I was like, oh. And uh, he just, no, he said, you, you're getting it, you, you do fucking piss me off. You were there when I got done in. And I was like, when? You know, because I'm there, there's there's always scuffles and fights, you know, it's mad. not always, but... Yeah, usually they are. I mean, so. I mean, I've done it for eight years in Liverpool, you know, you see people getting thrown out or you, you might see a skirmish, but... I was trying to explain to this lad, but he wasn't having it. You know, he was on it. You, yeah. I seen your face. I said, of course, I'm, I'm in the DZ, I'm in the window, you know. You didn't help me. And I was like, well, one, I can't help you as it is because I'm yeah. not the badge. You know, on the streets, I don't know if you know this, if, it, if someone's fucking getting into a fight, if you get involved, you're going to get some of the free straight away because you're, it's, oh, you're, you're inciting course. more, yeah, you yeah, see. Yeah. Even Dorman, bless them. I mean, there's a lot of Dorman that I know who... who, who as soon as it's out the premises, they can't get into here because the camera's there. It's on, it, then it becomes a police matter. Okay. And as a many a doorman have lost the licenses because the fight continues outside and they think, hang on a minute, it's getting out of hand. They're trying to get uh, in. Uh, One right. might get clocked on, they twist some lad up and yeah. they're getting done for this. And, you know, and also, even even if, they, if they've seen it, then they're going to get dragged in on a witness. So they lose a night's pay. The police will take them in. Yeah, the police don't. I mean, it's, it's, it's again, it's like friggin' hell, you know. And unfortunately, I'm not into lads getting beat up. He was getting, he said he was getting beat up by a couple of lads. I mean, there's been a, a lot of instances where you know it's always like <laughs> it always happens late, you know, like the closing time or whatever. And you know, I'm standing there, I'm in the window, or I'm standing there watching and thinking, oh, no. yeah. And the door was like, no, you're not bad, just don't do it, you know. 
if it was me daughter, if I knew someone anyway, my friend or whatever, then I'd, I'd, I'd sod everything and try and save, you know, one of them. Stop it! Like a rugby yeah, tackle. Of course. But, you know, today's society, as you know, there's a lot of, a lot of people which get stabs, aren't they? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. You know, the, the, the old days of just like a fist fight and fist fights. Oh. You could beat someone in a fight now and they want to come back and bring a weapon then, don't Choose you? Choose your life, not a knife, as Darren G says. <laughs> yeah. Well, in yeah. I mean, I mean, he, he sincerely means is it, you know yeah. I mean that's great and I, I will put his message out there which uh, great I've got a good friend Neil Jones and he's mates with them he said give me a show I said yeah I like that because yeah. it's positive isn't it you know and it, it means and I, I don't I don't try to be like the teacher or whatever you know it, later years and you take a blade out right or you take something out and, and you use it because you're going to use it if something gets heated up but I know the mindset anyway. You're like, you got a blade there and, and you know, the air gets down. You see someone, see fucking, hey, mate, it's always good to, yeah. the hardness, hey, mate, I'm going to fucking stab you in the foot. And then they go, ooh, but it's there, it's out. And some other lad goes, have a knife that season and it just escalates. And, yeah. yeah. You know, but I would say it's years now. They're going to get years in that, in that clink. Of course. Just yeah, for that, yeah. for what, just showing off that they had a knife, you and know. Sometimes the knife that they carry ends up getting turned back on them, doesn't it, as well? Exactly, you know, it's, 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 it's a big, it's a big, it's a, you know, it's a big thing. We, we've got to raise it awareness. Is it is. If you just listen to it, like they think, oh, I'm going out tonight, why are you going out? You're going out to have a good time, to socialise. Yeah. You know, get a bit if, you, if, you, if you're single or if just you've, get if amongst If you've got them. to take a knife to go on a night out, you shouldn't be going on a night out. Well, you? You've got problems, Some, you know. You, something's you, wrong. Yeah, you've got, you know, I'm not saying something's wrong, but something you need to just to click it in your head thinking, do you really want to sit in a jail cell and be tortured by fucking, the, 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 your freedom's gone, yeah. uh, your life, your food, shit. Your, there's no air, by the way, especially now. In Walton, there's all like, as, you, as I did say, there's, there's all like, uh, what are they called? Plastic windows. What's right. it called? There's no, no there's, and there's no uh, little I'll open the window for the breeze. There's no breeze. So, I, I mean, I remember being like, now coming up to spring and it's it's horrendous. Yeah. The heat in the cell and there's no wind, there's no, no it's just still. If your pad made farts, one of them friggin' mackerel ones, you had mackerel and uh, <laughs> <laughs> petty, petty sauce from the night before, mixed oh, in God. with a bit of corned beef ham, <laughs> hash or whatever, yeah. and a veg burger. You've had it, your, your pad just lingers, it just stinks of pure shite, lad, and, <laughs> and you're sweating. And, you know, the thing you used to do is you get like a plate. Yeah. Fan each other, <laughs> <laughs> sit there, you know, at the tap water. But do you know what? No, seriously, it's laughing, but it, and yeah. it's, it's horrendous. Serious, yeah. And then you can't, you'd be matches just sweating. Who's been on that matches? Who's had scabies? Who's had herpes? Who's had fucking, you know what, you know? Yeah. There's all fucking bogeys on the wall where dirty bastards are trying to make a fucking portrait of Mona Lee. Uh, yeah. Uh, just drawing. Biff was here and bogeys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. So yeah. did you, um, yeah. did you go to prison before the army or after? The after, army? yeah, after, after yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I blame the army, you know, no. <laughs> blame it all on the army, you know. It's, it's down to you. It, it, it's all down to the, but you know what? I sincerely say, you know, a lot of lads come out the army and uh, they don't know how to handle civic streets, you know. Yeah. I mean, this is going, when I, when I joined the, the King's Regiments, um, you were over in Northern Ireland as well, weren't you? Yeah, and, well, that's just, I, I joined when they were in Berlin, you know, and um, we were there when the wall came down, which could have went either way. That was that was scary. Wow. You know, the wall's coming down and we all had to help out here. I mean, we used to call them the Easty Beasties, um, oh, yeah. all the Eastern Bloc. You know, we, yeah, but yeah. there was a Russian army. It's like now, what do you think of what's going on? But it was all peaceful. Yeah. They all come out in the thousands, you know, they're like, yay, freedom! Wow. And they marched down. I was all like, I was dishing out the tea or whatever. The walls come down. There's thousands of Easty Beasties all walking. They're all the Mackies. And then they're trying to give like the Mackie man their Easty Beastie money. And no, 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 no. Oh, okay. But they got no money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I was like, just give me a fucking burger, will yeah. you? And in the end, they were going back. They were going, oh, we, no money. I thought, yeah, welcome to society, mate. But, you know, yeah. it's crazy, you know. And I, that could have went off. That, that was in Berlin with the army. And we'd done a lot of training. And I, I, luckily enough, I was on the boxing team. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. So you started the boxing in the army, basically. I started, yeah, yeah. Just a quicker and set. I, I trained um, when I was a kid with the West Riddle uh, Amateur Boxing Club. That's over in Morton. Um, 
I, I, I never had an amateur fight with them. Uh, I just trained because I was more into football and uh, there was... But also, there was a lot of, at them days, a fella called Joey Balkan and Johnny Balkan who run the gym, they wanted really committed. And to be honest, I wasn't good enough. That's how good I was. They were really skillful. They produced some great boxing champions. Uh, Barney Shaw, one of my mates, uh, Mark Phillips, all with like Northwest titles. And they went on to uh, further for England and box for like, you know, I was at an England camp and they were really skillful. And then, um, but I knew how to learn uh, to, to throw a straight punch. And basically take a dig because we used to go to West Mill, used to spar with these lads who were like shit off. You know, you're laying in the ring. It's Yeah, yeah. They always say, like, you know, if you go in boxing, um, be aware that, you know, have you took a dig? Yeah, all these like especially when like the Rocky film comes on, there's like thousands of lads who come out, you know, they're all in. Yeah, yeah. Put them in the ring and they're going for it. They can hit the glo- as soon as they got a little donk, a little bonk on the nose or the chin, and it, yeah. it fucking stings and you like yeah, Most that, of them go, that, 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 that flash. <laughs> the flash, and then the smell of some greasy fucking. Sh- <laughs> some club, <laughs> some lads just wiped his ass. Come on, and put it in. It's a horrible smell. Like, like, yeah, fucking... yeah, I know the smell of the gloves. And then the blood <laughs> fucking drips in your thing down your neck, and then you got to struggle on. Yeah. You then decide, is this the direction that you want to go? Some fucking love it, you know. You know, and to be honest with you, I, I had to go anyway because my dad <laughs> forces yeah. out that them years when toughen you up. Me, well, my granddad started the club. You know, he was oh, one right. of the members. No he way. was. I always say this. He was uh, Tommy Allred. He was. Uh, uh, champion fist fighter on the docks wow. of um, Camelids. It was not what you call a picker because them days there was no employment like contract. You just had to turn up. Right, okay. Who's on yeah. there? Who, you know, he wants a job and then you can imagine how many squish things. Hey, mate, I haven't fucking here for fucking two weeks. I've got a wife there starving and the kids, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you fucking it's lying with the fucking anal slash line. Blah, blah, blah. All right, sorted out by my man. Ping, ping, ping. Straight hands, fucking, you know, fellas getting fucking sparked. And, you know, it was like, mm. but one thing, I got a, uh, I got a good redemption. My granddad was very fair, apparently. And yeah. he, he used his wisdom to say, well, all right, well, just let him go for one day. Get him some money. Make sure. And he'd, to, he'd end up in the booze checking that they're not just spending the money on the ale, you know, it's make sure they went home and give the uh, the family the, the, the food. Fucking hard time. We don't know how lucky we are, you know, when you think about it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. it's just like, oh, what are we going to do for money? There's no tellies, no nothing. It's just, yeah. you know, sleeping with overcoats on. Oh, I just couldn't. Imagine today's society, you know. Yeah. Where's me charge, yeah, you know. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> they have a meltdown if Facebook goes down for an hour. No trout <laughs> pounding, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's oh. no Wi-Fi. Ah! Panic. I've seen kids go berserk when the yeah, phone gets yeah. taken off them. Yeah, yeah. Just a quick one as well, right? I don't know if you know this. Uh, I watched something on the uh, YouTube again. It's very, very educational. Do you know how many times you're looking at your phone all the time, close proximity? You are giving yourself a, a, an eye problem in the future because your muscles are always con- like sort of thing they said you buy your retina contracted because it's close ah, so what you've got to do if it makes sense 10 minutes in the day in the sunlight is look at like clouds very far away or objects or a bird far away and watch you and give you and just relax your face and watch the um, watch your f- the long distance and you've got to do that maybe maybe 30 minutes a day and also sunlight sunlight's a vitamin D that gets in your eyes and keeps your eyes sparkly yeah Grace, yeah. I get a bit of an education on this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, but it, it makes sense. You know, people, I didn't know that, you know, but just yeah. do it, please. Otherwise, you're going to be walking around like, you know, you, uh, it's, it's pretty horrible. I mean, yeah. sure, it, it does happen with age anyway. That's why people get older. You're older, you get your muscles come relaxing and yeah. your psych goes. Well, everything's everything. about a smartphone now, isn't it? I yeah. mean, looking at all the stats like from uh, YouTube and different things, I think it's like 85% of all YouTube content is consumed through a phone, like watched on it a phone is. now. It's, it's, so. it's, it's, it's what I'm saying, you know. It's, it's, so, our oh, Sophie and Lily again, give your eyes a rest, please. Please. Yeah. 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 So, there yeah. you go. So, yeah. And it's really easy now to get stuck down rabbit holes, isn't it, with these shorts clips, like the TikTok stuff, and YouTube's got a version. Do you know Facebook's, what, though? Sh- you can spend hours just going through, and you're like, what have I doing? I've just wasted two hours. Do you know, I put some of them <laughs> funny, and I, I give yeah, them they are funny, creative but and funny, but you know. you got to take a break, can't you? 
Definitely, yeah, because it's it's there. You're like, wow, what's have seen this? That's all it is. WhatsApp, you know, it's crazy. Yeah. The amounts of, I, I don't know where all these apps come from, but there's a lot of, you, you get things, you know, you know, like there's killings and there's muggings and there's old yeah. accidents. And you think, oh, why did you send me that? But you, you still watch it. But yeah, I, I personally sometimes, and then I need to know, I was get the WhatsApp uh, videos off my phone, you know, because these videos come on me like what Facebook, and I said, like, What the fuck, you know? Oh, shit. And then it saves in your camera roll, doesn't it? Yeah, the then, squawky yeah. one, yeah. Yeah, stop sending me squawky <laughs> ones. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I wanted to ask you as well about your experience going on Sean's show and what that was like meeting the now late. Wild man, Peter Mahoney. Yeah, which Peter, is such big a shame wild man. To hear about that. Well, do you know it was it was wild man's idea because um, he contacted. Well, it was on YouTube. In the, you know, I'd done the Purple Aki song, and I got a lot of comments. And then I remember reading him, "Wild Love You" on my podcast, and I seen Sean Howard, and I clicked on his thing, and I thought, "Wow, you know, he's got David Icke on, and he's got really yeah. big dudes." And I thought, "Who, the f- who am I? <laughs> <laughs> who is he? Who is he?" And you know, luckily, I, I contacted them, and wild man said. It's well, man. Eh? You know, he said he sent me a message saying, "Come on, come on, I'll show you." Really, really, I, I really think you'd be great in there. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I took it. But before that, with that song, right, I just want to say to you, um, with the purple lucky one, um, I was actually asked to go on the BBC. You know, the, to do that song. To do the, when he done the, the actual documentary about him. Oh, I didn't know he did that. Right? And he done okay. a documentary. It's on a doc. It's a BBC documentary, and uh, they asked me if they. And I thought, you know what? I I really don't because um, on the BBC, you know, what's going on with it, all the controversy with that Jimmy Savile and all what's going yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah. Open your eyes, you know, and I, I, and also it's just the fact that I thought I didn't really want to. It was a joke in the garden, you know, and I did And then going on the BBC, I, I'd probably get a witch on some plus, you know, yeah. ah, he's not that soft, he probably won't assume me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you said he's a, quite a big guy as well in real life. <laughs> well, he is, he's nearly seven foot, he's like a Tyson Fury. <laughs> That'd be a strain, oh. wouldn't it? <laughs> it cracked me up yeah. in the, the part of your song where you said, oh, if he gets the wind, I'm taking the piss. <laughs> yeah, if it, it's it, I mean, it is. Oh. Luckily, do you know what? I built a relationship with the... Uh, I, I can and be here. I, I built a relationship where he knew me. He knew off me. Like I just want to make good of things and good of yeah. laugh. You know, I'm a joker. You know, I, I do like taking the piss and yeah. and also I, people can take the piss out of me. You know, to an extent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, what do you mean? He's a fucking nonsense. Saying all I get wound up by some people and you think they throw all sorts. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's a, it's a good nature thing. Oh, fucking hell, you know, fair play. And I, th- I think you said on uh, on that show that. You know, he, he heard you singing it, maybe. Yeah, but that's... He came into your cell and yeah, said, like, enough for this now. <laughs> well, he lived next door. I mean, I, I actually, if you don't, if you haven't seen the uh, the Sean Atwood podcast or the Billy Moore, I actually lived next door to uh, Purple Aki, you know, yeah, in, yeah. in jail, yeah. which was mad, you know, because I was in, I didn't know that he was next door because I was already on A-Wing and I was on the, the cleaners, on the, it's on the basement where... You walk in, it's pretty, you know, it's a good, good little job if you, if you be a good boy and you do your things to stay off whatever, and you, you know, you can, you can get in, get yourself like in a clean and then you go to the gym. It's all about getting the gym a day, isn't it? Yeah. Going to the gym a day and getting about and getting out and talking to people and having a laugh and keeping things moving, you know, and that's one thing the cleaners used to do. Um, you know, people, I'd, I'd clean shite yeah. all day. All right, Charles. And, you know, I woke up one morning and the fucking, I come out my cell waiting for to go for your water because you don't have any kettles in there. You just go and get some hot water. If it was hot, by the way, yeah. <laughs> when it was run out, you get all the way there with your cup. <laughs> little drop. Like, no! <laughs> yeah. So you're eating out of your, you know, the, the, the can water then. <laughs> it's on the top with a bit of coffee. Oh, <laughs> Better than the bog oh. water. So, but, you know, but anyway, so Purple Aki then, to come out I was just like fuck you know and I just knew who he was anyway you know because it's I, I'd seen him before with our kid years ago and uh, I just I just knew and I was like and he's just dead like polite do you fancy coffee you know like just dead like alright so what are you in for you know I was like oh <laughs> fighting and you know fucking hell and in my head thinking what the fuck am I doing don't get to know him. <laughs> yeah. Stay strong. Tell him to fuck off. No, no. Everything's fine. Oh, gee. 
eh, and it's signed not ever seen the it's there crazy <laughs> yeah so yeah well, how many sugars you want yeah 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 yeah, yeah. well no, no no thanks yeah oh yeah and do you hold the gym I thought <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Shit. Here we go. This is his, uh, his pitch, you know, where yeah. oh, fucking hell, he's going to be squatting on me shortly, you know. <laughs> no. And all of a sudden, you know, but I was trying to say, yeah, I was in the army, you know, done there uh, 14 years in the Kings on the bit of boxing and thinking, fine. Yeah, I don't know where my no dad, no, <laughs> it's yeah, to be like, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, go and get you some milk powder, you know, and get fuck up the pad like that. <laughs> and lucky for me, you know, it sounds nuts, but luckily, yeah, uh, I had a freaking big pad made to myself. Right. The bomber, Richie Graham, yeah, from Sheikham. <laughs> he's right. just, he just doesn't, nothing really says. He just walked in the pad, like, and then me and him used to buzz off each other because we used to have fart wars. I remember saying that with Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just walked in, like, and he's always got to eat. One thing with Richie, he's just he's obsessed with food. He just have like cereal, always have cereal, always munching. It's like grazing. It's like you're fucking grazing <laughs> again, like. And he's he's about six foot seven and eight anyway, like you know. And to be honest with you, like we just first thing he said, I can't believe I got a celebrity next door to us. Yeah, but I, you know, wow. Ah, it was funny, Richie. And we, we, do you know what though? We, we we just got to know him. And we cut the shit with them, you know, I was like, all right, Zach, you know, blah, blah. But what does our head in was that we didn't realise that his job, as I said to Sean, he was the cleaner, you know. Wow. He was cleaning the showers while people were getting showers. Oof. That's it. They did want to get a shower. I'm just going for a shower. You see him? <laughs> <laughs> they see him like that. <laughs> with the mop, like, you know, waiting. No. <laughs> Fucking hell, she used to go in there, didn't they? And he was showering like that, whatever, and like, oh. You know, you're vulnerable. That's where you're most vulnerable, aren't you? You yeah, know, yeah. you think about it. You know, the old saying, passes a soap there, lad. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, it's sometimes embarrassing. You know, and yeah. then he'd get a shower, then, you know, he, I do, I can, he, 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 you're stripping off, you're getting in the shower, and he's like, <laughs> hey, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, and you head like that. Just quickly get the soap and, uh, and you know, you just get on with it, you know. And then, yeah. and then but luckily, you just like, look, I'm fucking, you know, I'm, I'm a father, you know, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, the man sort of thing, you know, blah, blah. But I thought, you know, Christ. So you never had any bother with him, No, we, I, I really, really got on with him in, in a mad way, you know, to say, Sam, like, leave off of me, you know. I, I, the thing with awards, you know, people think whatever, you know, you, you do your best to fucking if you, to try and thing. But if he did, that, if he did anything, then you did, you'd have to do something, you know. I'd have to find some means or ways of fucking getting them back or attacking them or doing. Yeah. Or I've got, you know, there's lads that I know. I come from a fucking good background. The Kingos, you know, there's like a thousand fucking Kingo warriors who just fucking turn up and, hey! yeah. you know, there's a mob. You know, I, I'm proud. You know, that's what you're in and what you do. There's a lot of lads. Uh, and the respect you, that you've gained yeah, from people. Yeah, you just well. think, just fucking hell, you know, and, and really, you know, my good nature is like, you know, just get on with it then. You're in there, what I'm in there, yeah. you know, and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it did help a lot of people, you know, it sounds mad. He was law, he, he knew all the law, he knew how to fucking, you know, he got lads through cases, you know, with his Archibald law books. He, that was, he never had the telly. Glastonbury was on. We're all watching Glastonbury, I think it was on that Dell, done that. You. <laughs> and I said, as you know, that the zoomed in is fucking his his Aki's fucking banner, Pebble Aki's banner, no way. Glastonbury. No way. I was like, he's living next door to me. Aki, you're on the telly, <laughs> lads. You, you're in Glastonbury. You're all, all the knocking on the door. No Never way. mind that. Man. You know, I was like, when I always remember him. Yeah, yeah. And leave it out, Jeff. Used to sound like, leave it out, quiet, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I did sing the song, you know, and the thing, you in know. In front of him. Yeah, and the time, and he <laughs> fucking, he got me, though, he, he did get me, he put his fucking, he bastard, yeah. He was, I, I said, yeah, as you said, I was, with, I was up playing chess, um, it's one of the pastimes in jail, <laughs> spending, I've always remember the fella called Jed Bailey, Jed Bailey, yeah, boss lad, always a fucking great, play, great chess player, um, and we're playing chess, and he, as I said, the, I was just talking to him, and Aki's just come in, the pad from behind it was in the, like the listening pad where you could have toasters and 
where people felt depressed and talk to the listeners or just get a bit of toast or yeah yeah and as I'm playing chess I just went uh, with his eyes like that and he just picked me up he picked me up me you know what I mean? I'm oh. like 17 stone like that. shit I was like that in the air going and he's like yeah I'm just fucking he just pile drive me I got pile drive by a timber no way but the worst thing is I had me like fucking false teeth, but I didn't have any fixidents at the time. So as I'm fucking falling, they went in my throat. Oh, shit. Fucking scary, man. I was trying to fucking fight him off with a fucking thing in my throat and my teeth. Like, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to yeah, have teeth. Yeah. I'm going to have my fucking teeth with teeds and the way this is going on. I was in the end, I was like, tap it, I'll go now. <laughs> oh, Stop yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, it's powerful, mate. She just didn't get you. Wow. So after that, everything was cool. Yeah, he just got off down. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm only messing. Oh, yeah. For, all right, yeah, all right, you're the daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, because he was all like the king of the wing time, boxing. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what I'd say, like, how everything's gone viral with your songs and stuff these days. <laughs> well, do you know what? To think the positivity out of it, I mean, it sounds nuts, but uh, if he did do a show, if he ever did or whatever, get a side of the story. I mean, everybody wants him. He, he can make a lot of a lot of money, you know, from from like Sean Atwood down to the Joe Rogan and whatever, you know. Yeah. And, you know, it certainly is. He's, he's got a side. I mean, he must have a good nature side, but, you know, there's a lot of people saying what he's done, he's done, you know, and, and what he's done, he's labelled a nonce in Liverpool and right, uh, okay. through his... As not, not some normal crime elements, you know, and that's the fact that you get tired of that line, you're fucking finished, aren't you? You know what I mean? But yeah. he's got it, you know, he's brave. He's just saying, I'm I haven't done this or done that. It's up to him to defend himself, you know. It's, yeah, sure, yeah. He probably should speak out if, you know. Well, I haven't wanted him because Warren got on with them, didn't he? Uh, right, on, okay. on the show, on the show, and that was when we got talking, like yeah, beyond, yeah. beyond the thing that's... He was in, he'd done a bit of time in prison with uh, Aki and Aki helped Walman over some disputes ah. and stuff like that, where he stopped some bullying or whatever, which is fair enough, you know. We, and the lads who speak at that, they, they had no qualms to them, so in their heads, they think, well, he's never done nothing to me in that in that of realm. Of course, that's how it is sometimes. So, so it? people just yeah. go, listen, he's done nothing to me, so I don't even want to talk bad about him, yeah. you know, in that mad way. And I, I agree with, you know, that's where we're going with this conversation. We're thinking, well... He's never done nothing to me in that way, but you know what you hear, you hear anything, and that's naughty or that's mad. But let's see how it is because he's on. I got a video the other week. Uh, he's on the streets prowling again, or he's just standing there. People shouting at him. Yeah, and, and there's rockets, yeah. fireworks going off at him. Mm. <laughs> Fucking hell, you know, thinking shit. And yeah, who knows why? Why was he just on the street? Was he looking? Was he lost? Was he doing whatever? You know. Yeah. If I was him, I said that, that ends up being a. You know, as I said, he's, he's got to just go and find somewhere, write a book. And I'm, and you know, there'd be a lot of things. He, he would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But would he? Yeah, yeah, it's just crazy. They probably should do. The bogeyman, you know, do. he is the proper bogeyman. And people, unless, a lot of. Unless lot of, he can't. <laughs> but I don't know. Well, you, well he's, yeah. apparently his, his, his order's been uh, lifted off. He's, his oh, right, he right, okay. used to have an, SO, an SOP and all that thing was a. So say so bored, you know. Don't bend down, but the, yeah. the, 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 there's a, the, an, an order where he couldn't approach uh, fellas and whatever. I just said, go oh, to man. a fucking gay bar. And show them, you know, get what <laughs> yeah, I mean? In a good yeah, sense, yeah. we just go and find what you want because there's a lot of lads who are that way, and that there's nothing against it. You know, this is the way of the world now. You know, if you, yeah. but he, he, he says he's not gay. You know, but, but why? And the, it's like the biggest cliche. Well, why are you doing? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It baffles us. It baffles me. <laughs> but anyway, fr from that, then yeah. that's led to your song, and then that's all gone viral and stuff. And he said, "Wild man picked up on it, yeah, and then got you on the got show." Got the show. Well, that was. I mean, how was it meeting Sean and stuff? It was. A, it was really, really like it was a good day. I didn't know yeah. what to expect. I'd never done a podcast in my life. I was going over things in my head and what to say and what to do, and you know, and. Uh, Luckily, when I got there, I felt relaxed from Wildman, just laughing with, with Sean. Yeah. Do you want a beer? And I was like, no. <laughs> it, was, was like, it was really relaxed. Wasn't yeah, it? It was relaxed. And, and the, you know, the little studio was great. I mean, it looks great with the, uh, what we've done. And yeah, yeah. we just went from there. And, you know, luckily enough, I, I felt relaxed like I am now. And you just talk freely, which is brilliant, yeah. you know. Yeah, I really enjoyed hearing it. Definitely. He's doing some good stuff, Sean. 
Um, I know he gets a lot of stick, doesn't he, in the internet world and YouTube and stuff. But when you can look past all that, it's just he's you, not you, ass, you know. Do you, do you know no, it's Sean? He he's, 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 he's a man of his own thing because we went through all this with Dave and it, uh, freaking him and Darren G, the old fell out. And then yeah. when I was going on, he said, "Oh, he's, you're going to watch Sean." I would, when I got there, because I took a photo, like, "Yeah, I'm with Sean now." And some lad said, "Oh, have you seen that thing and thing with the with his dumb?" I was like, "I don't know. What's he going on about?" And I didn't yeah, see yeah. it. And I thought the lad was calling me a fucking nonsense. I was like, on the off in the street, and his arms, come on, fucking Swiss, and I'll fucking smack you, you fucking swat. <laughs> no, not you, it was yeah. about him. And, and do you know what? They're fucking crazy. And I, I said, all we want to do is go on and tell my story, you know, it's yeah. a, because he's got 500,000 people out there, and at the time, you know, if I'm into this game, I've kept myself established to making a song or creating something, then what a, what an oh, opportunity, you know, it's, it's, it's brilliant. And I, I just took it as that, you know, it's a good show. And yeah. again, he never, Sean was brilliant. He was just funny laughing. <laughs> 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 yeah, his feet. His laughs But what happened was in stitches, you know, we had a laugh, you know. He first started appearing on Sean's podcast. Yeah. Of- I had that thing at first where I was like, who's this guy who keeps jumping in and, you know, wasn't kind of sure. Yeah. After a couple of shows, he'd grown me that much. Yeah. And then when I heard that, it was just like, wow, shit, no way. Yeah. It's really, really sad. Because he was freaking, I know, I mean, it's, it's a warm and, you know, he was a legend around where he was, you know, he, around the rave scenes and whatever, he, he got he got everything. And as you know, when have you ever seen some of Sean's podcasts? Wow, man, in America, it was fucking wild, you know. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. He'd, he'd go into like, proper, wild like, woman. <laughs> gangsters, yeah. where, you know, you go going like, these top frigging, like, proper, like, you know, cartel sort of people. Yeah, yeah, fearless, wasn't he? And he's just like, hey, wait, tell you what, I'm Sort yeah. him out, and he just fucking, he was just so bold as fucking blast. <laughs> yeah. He was, but to say all the stuff they did and the stuff they got up to, when you listen to him on Sean's show, you got a sense of his moral yeah. compass, and he was he was a good guy, wasn't he? Very he good was. guy, full of art, you know, he's, he's help, you know, he'd help anybody, which, um, it's just, that's where, you know, you, do you know when you come across a person that had a, in or out, you know, the, if you're out and you're outgoing, you want to meet people, you want to communicate, and, you know, he was that, that person, and, you know, the, some yeah. of the stories that I got from people that he, he done, he, he helped a lot of lads, and even his charisma, having him sitting there in the fucking, the darkest fucking depths of, of insanity, and he's there by your side, especially with Sean being as, like, the way he is, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's spanged up and like out of his own. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm fuck off, will you? And then <laughs> Sean, fucking, uh, there's this fucking seven foot fella there trying to fucking, you know, yeah, polax yeah. me over something, and he's like, hey, and, uh, you know, and he would, he'd go, you know, he'd have it. He'd yeah. go all the way. I'll fucking bite his cheek. I'll be like a pit bull. And, uh, uh, just like pit bull, the fucking bastard. <laughs> um, but wow, well, man. Yeah. So we went, when I got on the show, it was great. And it ran really smoothly. And we went through all the subjects of my life. And like, this yeah. is your this is your life. <laughs> right? Yeah, there's some, re- some really, really funny parts that have just stuck with me, which I would, yeah. I would like you to Just whatever you want me to things. do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever yeah. you feel free. I'm at your disposal. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you. But yeah, it's definitely very sad to hear about Wildman. Um, but he definitely lives on through the podcasts. And yeah. I'd urge people to go back and watch the one you did with Sean and Wildman, episode one three one on Sean's channel. So yeah, I know. It it, and when it, when it hit me though, I was just like, oh well, I, I was on the last lads he interviews, and Sean did say I was the best one he had for because we really hit it off the three of us. To be honest with you, yeah, we could have talked for hours and hours, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we going on like like we, <laughs> like we are now, and uh, it was just good to have his family around him as well, and uh, and that was the time as well. And Sean was getting loads of fucking thing, and I was getting told, "Don't be on his channel, don't be subscribing." I just couldn't find my feet or fatten things, you know, going with whatever. And I mean, good said, well, listen, she wasn't underage. She was just a whatever, you know, yeah. and he's a single fella. Come on, it's just a sex act. You know how many people go out yeah. and dress up as that? But, you know, I don't know the ins and outs, what goes on, but it, yeah. they're all agely consented, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So whatever yeah. happened in an after party, but while I'm himself, it was his show as much as Sean's and it was him who invited me anyway. So I'd say to them, I got invited by while you know, if Sean's just dark figure and you know Wildman's there, and I'll, I'll just I'll just find out myself. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, Sean's always been polite. I can go on uh, any time with Sean. Yeah. And would, I would you just, do a part two? Yeah, yeah. The, the part two's there. And I think at the moment, it's just that's just yeah, right. let's, let's just gather things as right. it, as it goes. You know, it's I think just, I heard they've got a new studio in Liverpool as well recently. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've got Sean's number. I mean, somehow we we always have a laugh in that. You know, and then. Um, 
yeah. over things. So yeah, that's just I've got to gather more of like stories because you know it's just that many. What's going on now? I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm in like I'm in a car. I'm in like a. I, I'm what you know now as the as the karaoke doctor. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot of karaoke junkies out there, right? And I'm I'm, I'm being serious, right? There is people addicted to karaoke, really. As in like, and it's some of them are strange. And they gotta come and do like ten songs, <laughs> wow. as in like. Otherwise, they get frustrated. And nine out of ten of them, <laughs> and I've just got to go with this. Like I've got it. I'm like their cure, but because yeah. of me, I let them do it. Go on, sing too, and I get like the. Because they get on the stage if you're in Smokies and there's like two hundred, three hundred people all there. It's like a proper like they're on like Glastonbury, and in their heads they're on like they're like doing live aid. You know, yeah, yeah. and there's yeah. honestly, there's one there. Like I, I won't mention his name, but we call him there. Uh, I'll just call him in the navy. <laughs> <laughs> in the navy, I know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, what I mean. That's, that's a song. All that's right, what he okay. sings. That's All what right. he sings. <laughs> Don't be getting me loads of sailors. No, <laughs> fucking all these marines. No, no, well, no, but, in, in in the very first Grand Theft Auto yeah. game, there was <laughs> one of the NPCs that you yeah. know the players that walk around the map. Not the players, but the computer players. And it used to walk around our camp going, in the Navy, in the Navy. So yeah. it, be, between me and some of my friends back in the yeah. day, it become a bit of a thing. It's crazy like, that, you In know. the Navy, meaning, you know, he's Do a you bit know, camping. That's a st- <laughs> the stigma of that, you know what I mean? Because I've seen some rough ass freaking sailors, you know. Dad, yeah, they're always scrapping as well. Fucking, right? they're, they're <laughs> a bunch of fellas, you know what I mean? And What do you mean? I'm fucking, but, you know, there's a fella comes in, he does all sorts, but the one he does more, he done this meatloaf one. Um, what was it called? Something about the, uh, in the theatre. Now, meatloaf for me, I, I can't stand this because I'm a karaoke fella. Right, Someone okay. wants to do meatloaf, right? It, it kills like 10 minutes. You can either go, oh, I can sit off. Oh, because it's a big, long track. But as well, for yeah. the crowds, I've got a time. My job, and, and otherwise I get sacked, is to get that place buzzing, bouncing. Yeah. So you can imagine like Saturday night. <laughs> got there. Go next off. Everyone's like that. Some fella, I want to do it. Um, two out of three, I'm bad. So you go the first time, because I always say uh, meatloaf's like Marmite, you know, you either like it, love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No disrespect to God bless your soul, meatloaf, because meatloaf can do me. And you get these people going, like, you know, maybe we can talk about it. Is it done no way? So the bladders, you know, <laughs> from the first line, if someone does that, you got nine minutes of that song. Fuck. And, and, and you just, <laughs> fuck. You can see people just getting the coach, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know, I'm curious me something and I fucking knew it. <laughs> I always think to myself, they're going to kill the show, you know? Yeah. But they're waiting like everybody else in the queue because and there's queue jumpers, right? And, and, and the worst one is Popeye. His name's Popeye, bless him. He's only about, say, uh, four foot to nine. Right, okay. Yeah. People might call, if you know Popeye, he's on my uh, thing. He comes in, and to be honest with you, he's fun. Fun for, like, people who don't know him, because obviously uh, he looks like the family guy, shrunken, little miniature family guy. Right. He wears right. a headband, and he comes on human. How are you? How are we scousers? <laughs> Fucking upside down, inside down, show you fucking... Oh, he, you. But he's funny how he does it, you know. And he does sing, all right. He goes into the crowd and and then he's into the Bruno Mars, Marry You. Like, he's got to have two songs when he gets on. But when he comes in, if there's like 10 people all waiting, because it's a little way, you know, they come in, put the name down, and they say, okay. And I try my best, like, to get everybody up as fast as I can, because you come to some karaoke venues... And they're waiting. It's like two, they're like three songs, and you're thinking, okay, let's get Darren up then. Then they go, fuck, I'm happy for him. Everyone's muffling. There's a lot of you, you, you got to be careful because yeah. karaoke war, you know. Yeah. Hey, mate, I've just seen him walk in there, and he's, he's on there. Oh, you tell right. me now. I've been waiting for ages, kind of. You saying the piss army lad, and then you think right, you got, you got okay. confusion. Then. So yeah. when he comes in, you know, you think, and here comes the fucking, I call him the spanner. He's going to spanner people's heads tonight and spanner mine. So he comes in and he just gets on the stage and puts his coat off. You know, a lot of people, well, ah, oh, because he's obviously, uh, can, I say the, can I say the word? Uh, he's a small man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People say, you know, it's, it's that way. But, I, uh, but once you see him, you know what I mean? But when, because he's that way inclined, he uses that. You know, the worst thing he ever come in is shopping ability scooter. 
Straight in a packed place. Wow. And bump them into people. Straight through the venue. Fucking venue. Parked up. And then got on the stage. <laughs> got to give you the mic. Not bad. No way. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> dickhead. So he's like... Is that how he is? And you're thinking, you cheap shit. <laughs> He just gets away. Because you're on the stage and you, you can't, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I want to get him. I can have you seen a leg in the wing, a leg in the wing. To <laughs> I'll just throw him on like a little, like the cannonball thing. So hold him upside down. <laughs> Swears to God, you know, but the thing is, when he gets going, uh, I, I will give this to you. Yeah, when he good. gets going, everyone gets on to him and they, he, he can lighten the crowd up. Yeah. yeah. But what he does, he, he'll have to show, I think, all oh, right, you're in there then, you're in. I always say when the people, when like on a Wednesday, always do Wednesday and Smokies from four o'clock, I'd say, I'll put my name down. I'll tell him, look, when he comes in, I'll put his name down just because he's just, Yeah. I just, I, I swear to God, just, just deal with them because he does me Because what he's done now, the little slimy, he, he's, he's managed to start glass collecting. Right for, for one of the managers, Terry. Terry, you, you, you made the rod to your own back because now he glass collect. He's, he's, he thinks he's part of the staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I know for a fact that he, he does say glasses, but just a little bit of fun. Like, hey, maybe that was a single vault. Get that. Where's that gun? All oh, right, okay, okay. That guy. You know yeah. what I mean? But he gets on the stage and uh, why do you? I'm that by the day, the man <laughs> living the day. He built up the gas and burned all his iron. I don't know. I hate every fucking me, but it's like, it's like, <laughs> it, but sometimes his course is made and then he gets bladdered and he's just, it's his night off, it's his blowout, he has a go, yeah. but he wants to sing 10 songs and with all the rest of the karaoke junkies, they're all like battling and I'm, oh, shit. and I'm, fee I'm giving them, you know, and in my head I'm thinking, just do me a favor. Yeah. So What's do you what? have to get a list and put it in order or something? They do it on betting slips. Okay. Because it's the, the free from Labrooks over the road. Right. But they do use them for betting, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. On that great side. So you just put, like, you know, the name, the song. So what I tend to do is just get the, and then put it under, under, yeah. under. And usually, you know, on a Wednesday, a good Wednesday. But there's some really, really good people, really, really talented singers. I usually got a fella called, I'm going to get an out. Well, yeah. He sings um, Pavliotti, Nessum Dorma. Right. Yeah, I don't know my name. I call him Jack the Hat, and then there's another fella. Oh, bloody hell. He'll come to me. He'll come to me. I, I forgive me. Sometimes I do that because that many people. Yeah, of course. You but I recognise the face. Now, oh, he can sing that. You know, he hasn't been with his brother. Um, yeah. I'll come. Don't worry. If I come back to that, I'll jump in because he's probably watching this going, you never bloody meant to be named. <laughs> <laughs> Big lads here. Yeah, so there's some talented. And he's talented, and he does Phil Collins, and he's really it sounds amazing. Like there's another, another. They just, you can tell them they come in. Like the other day, this fella come in, and he he he, he put down for a Chevy. No, he's, yeah, baby. Oh right, okay. I can't even. It's very high, you know what I mean. Yeah, you need to squeeze your plums for that one for me, but he, <laughs> he come in and done the first thing. You know, Andy his name was that his name. And uh, Gordon, that's it. Gordon, the character, Gordon, yeah. <laughs> Gordon. And his brother, Gordon. That was Gordon who done the Pavliotti. Fantastic, you know. He, he, people were like, Vidal, oh, that was amazing, do that again. You know, now he's done it. Yeah. But when he comes in, he doesn't ask for it. I like that, you see, you know that you've got him then. But then you see Popeye coming in. <laughs> and once Popeye does his song, he goes away, but he's back again, thinking, he wants to get back on. I'm like, you've had to go, Popeye. Yeah, yeah. Like, you've had to go, mate, go. please. And then what I've tend to do now is to go, Big Lee, Big Lee wants to sing like, uh, I want to sing to 18 Believe It and that. So I say to Popeye, well, go and ask Lee then, if you can go before him. Ah, go and ask Lee, <laughs> who's been waiting an hour, if you want to jump. Lee's all right, if he, fuck off. Yeah. You know, straight away. So he's got to learn Popeye if he's watching this, if he ever does. He's got to put other people in concern. You know, we've all, we're all, we're all having a go. Yeah. But it's like, but I want to give everybody, a, a, I give, I give people two songs so they, they get up, they get warm, they sing, they have the, the second song and then the, they've had the go, you know, and everyone's like, yeah, you boss you. Oh, you've just burned someone's head out. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 The Saturdays are mad on Smokey because I start there yeah, at one. Yeah, it looks busy. Start, videos up. Starts at one. I mean, it's obviously the Stag and Hen do Central. You know, it's amazing how many, yeah, how many yeah. people are come, which is good, you know, because obviously... The, I you see get, you're doing a bit of mixing as well. Different crowd. Yeah, I put all the tunes on. Virtual DJ. And virtual stuff. DJ, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. just virtual DJ. I mean, to be honest with you, Jeff... Still got to know what you're doing, though. So do yeah, you've, got, you've still got to just... 
you know, and it, it, you really, really got to look at the crowd and think, who's in? If the hens come in, they, they, you know that they want gaily songs and one of the, the proud Mary that goes down, rolling down the river. <laughs> but bear in mind, people want to sing that as well. So you got to, you, you wait out for that one. If it's not there, but that's a banger, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nine to five, Dolly the Pat, all that ding, 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 and yeah, gets them yeah. all going. I, 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 I call it, get the girls dancing, get the bait ball going, and every fella's just coming in from everywhere then. Yeah. Get them dancing, you're all right, and everyone... In the end, I want the whole place dancing. You know, it's boss. I, I dance myself, or try to, yeah. um, and just jump on the stage. And I think that's me work because I'm on a Saturday. I'm I'm doing like eleven, twelve hours. I'm doing smokies like from one till six, and then I ju- can run down, finish into the, into Matthew Street, down next to the Rubber Soul into the Kaiser Keller. Oh right, is that a different place? A different venue, yeah. No straight way. In, straight no into, way. into the Kaiser Keller. It used to be the old Eric's where the old like. All the bands used to play, like the Clash and the Beatles, and it's like it is like an old uh, cavern. It's the oh, same right. sort of situation, but it's on the opposite side. Yeah, and it was the old Derricks where a lot of good bands, like freaking, uh, whoever played the old Derricks, if you're watching this, please put your name down on the link. Be great, you know, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. The, the Paul Weller, the Jam, and everything's been down there, you know, and um, it's good. Mm-hmm. It's a great venue. It's got to get all the gym. It's all like gym and big benches, so you can all stand on the on the the benches or the pews yeah. jump around and it's fucking crazy wow. on a good night when it gets going and, and they all come down in the basements and the sound you know it's bosh good atmosphere you know the atmosphere is amazing it's electric and then you know obviously with myself egging them all on to do stupid things and yeah yeah the only thing is with them tables and um, they, I said don't they, they can't get on the table because they'll bang their head which has happened a couple of times <laughs> He got knocked out by it because it's like a post and they're jumping around. Na, 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 na. Bump. <laughs> and then they're thinking, oh, the paramedics are coming down. <laughs> but the, Shit. the music got to continue, you know, is this fella's going to look, look like Hannibal Lecter on them chairs going up the <laughs> fucking stairs. Yeah, oh, yeah, God look, bless you. It does yeah. look a really good night. I said to the missus, we'll have to come over and see you on yeah. that. you working. I've just started that sort of thing, you know, and it, I, I, just, I, I do like to... Uh, I'm a crowd pleaser. I take requests, but you know what? The other night was a. Uh, it really threw me there because we didn't have many people down because they can book the tables online. Uh, the Kaiser Keller. Yeah. If you want to do a hen party or stag party or just do a birthday party, or you can actually book a table and then you get your pretzel and your big sausage along with your no big way. stein. I think it's a package. Have a check it out as well. You know, I will plug plug the Kaiser Keller Matthew Street, and it's I'm there from uh, five o'clock till close we'll get to two o'clock it'll be a good night you know no way. but then it goes to heaven till seven next next door all oh, right okay okay <laughs> next door's heaven till seven yeah <laughs> every night then it's heaven, you know, if they want to go there you know so it's a heavy well i don't drink you know i want to yeah a, i've just got to make sure because obviously they're gonna got the safety and i'm looking at the crowd i've got to of course, yeah. got to work out what they want because you're there you, they've paid the money they, they've come down they're buying the beer and, and they want to hear good songs but the other night done me because we had a, a big table come in I thought usually I like playing the old house and the bangers and yeah, free yeah. from desires and sandstorm yeah, yeah. Liverpool's the yeah. place isn't it really yeah, for bits and pieces <laughs> next with this freaking 20 lads come down all rock with anthrax and metallica on oh them. no <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Listen, I, I, as I said, I, I like music, and I, yeah, some of, of the songs are great. But it sounds bossed down there with the speakers. You know, throw Led Zeppelin on, but, yeah, yeah. but I didn't realise how much uh, many people because we're right next to the Beatles Museum. Through the Beatles on, you know, bands which were like Zootons and uh, the Cardinal, you know, all local bands we can play. And all of a sudden, you got a lot of people don't want the umta. They don't want the umta, umta, uh, don't want the house. They want, you know, like rock music. Yeah. So I thought it's going to be really shit like this. You know, they've, gone, they've come down as the Kaiser Keller. They're all sitting there. There's no girls. I'm oh, just all these soft thoughts sound. And the lad's like, hey, mate, have you got this tune by um, Sticks? Oh, oh don't what is it blah blah um, you know some songs like by you we're living on the <laughs> what's on it yeah. you gotta hold on to what you got you know stuff like that it was all rock you know and then Janie some of the great songs and you know it was a different for me because it gave me more wit, things to work with you know Yeah. but the, the, the Metallica is like yeah it's a, some of it's 
But you know, I played for them because it was their thing. Yeah. But you know how many people come down? We filled it with rockers. It was like full of rock lads and rock rock girls, like grebs. We called them grebs, you know, stinking of a tune, you know, and <laughs> yeah, man, tune or like. You know, and I, you know, I, I took it, but then I could play that song that uh, one I really loved that uh, Rage Against the Machine. Oh wow, yeah, Guess yeah, what yeah. The told ya. Da, na, na. No, that really grungy song that made it number one, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't, yeah, don't yeah. Simon Cowell's head in one. <laughs> you know, brilliant track. It's brilliant. You know, like and he played some Red, red Chili Peppers and stuff. It was great for me, you know, and that's how diverse. Yeah. And it happens, and then you know, but people were coming down like, oh, I don't like that music, but. A lot of people did, like, and you, and you see all the tourists, like, from, like, over in Europe, you know, a lot of Germans, a lot of Swedish, and all, oh, I like that music, and they come up and ask me, and I'll play it. All right, you know, brilliant, I'll give me a go. One, if it's not from worse, then the, you, someone asks you to put a tune on, <laughs> and you don't want to play it because, you know, no embarrassment, but there's a lot of people out there, as you know, with life, that suffered losses. Yeah. So Saturday course, night's yeah. bang, and you know, <laughs> I've got it going, and this girl comes up, can you play the greatest love of all? Because I, I lost me, my mum. Oh, uh, right, okay. And yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. you've got to try and say, no, love, because it's 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 going to kill me, bar. It's not me, it's the managers. That's right. It's not me. I've got to try and play upbeat music. Yeah. What, and then once I, so what you're saying to me, you don't give a shit that I lost my mum. And then you think of me, I don't know, it's the ale. Frankenstein's in yeah. them, you know. They, yeah. They've they taken that out on me now, so I'm thinking, I'm going to be there. And sometimes I've got a spirit to realise that's a good thing, where I'm thinking, let them vent their anger yeah. and try and compromise and uh, try and win the hearts and minds and get them back. Yeah, I said, you know, I lost my mum as well. I don't know exactly how you feel, but I will play that song. I'm not going to say I can't, but I can't play it at this time because I've been... Asked to play this song by the ones who pay me. You know, yeah. I say, say that word, you know, and it, it, it's terrible, you know. It, I, I, it's my job on the line, and yeah. I understand where you're coming from. You know, but some of them just don't want no, I don't want my song playing now. Yeah, play man. it now. You think, oh, God, here comes an artist, <laughs> a Crankenstein. You know. Oh. At sunset, the moon is rising, the demons are compromising to prey on the living, intoxicated soul. Again, your good self will disappear as you're drinking lots of spirits and beer to let the demons possess your living soul again. They're gonna, 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 gonna get ya. They're gonna, <laughs> gonna, 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 gonna find ya. They're gonna, 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 gonna inside ya. They're gonna, 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 gonna ride ya. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. Frankenstein, I am. It's yeah, a go and check it out, people. It's on Jeff's channel. But, but actually, that's with the band called the Ice Cream Robots. Yeah, I'm in the bands. With, yeah. I've, you know, I formed the band. Um, so did you form that after the podcast? Yeah, yeah, with uh, Richie Jones. Yeah, no way. The uh, the exclusive Richie Jones and me, Stevie Owen, and uh, John Mitchum. I mean, John Mitchum, the lines in the Boo Radleys. Uh, oh, good right. morning. What's that? Wake up, it's a beautiful morning. Wow, no way. And it's, you've got to get John Mitchum on, you know, because he was, he's was he been gigging since he was signed when in the 70s. You know, he's an old hat and he, he played along with Led Zeppelin. He's played and co- he's played a lot of, as a drummer, a percussionist. He's a, and he's a great guy. Well, a friend of yours then. Yeah, he, I mean, one of his stories, he just said, you know, he's just come out of one sound. I was like, thinking, I was messing around with music with some of the sounds. What's that thing? The metal when Jimmy Page was playing the guitar and he had the metal, like electrode, and he'd do that with his hand. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, well, yeah. I think it was a mama meter or I can't remember, whatever it's called. Yeah. Mimer or mime. <laughs> but um, so I said, yeah. And he went, so oh, I've got a story with Robert Plant. He said, Robert Plant, you know, Led Zeppelin's lead singer. He said, when they were playing in Liverpool Stadium way back in 1971, uh, I took me bed. You know, she was only 16, I was 17, but I was playing. Um, the band before well, I just went but I got I managed to get backstage and uh, I was talking to uh, Jimmy Page about them the wow wing wow please please let me know what that is <laughs> John Curry knows the name <laughs> I'm not sure you could do a similar thing with that yeah. device there yeah, like you wave your yeah. hand over and you get yeah, like a yeah. synth yeah it does some change change the pitch it's and all that I've got no idea what it's called <laughs> please please yeah I had the word uh, so but he said all of a sudden as he's talking to Jimmy Page about the the, the thing and thing he looks over and there's Robert Plant uh, shining his girlfriend's breast 
Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Like, and he thought, yeah, yeah. But then Robert Plant then dropped the friggin' neckers and signed in the, the mound. Right. Wow. And Chom's like, <sighs> hang on a minute. You know, it's all right, it's Robert Plant, you know, friggin' hell. <laughs> God. You know, and he had a little bit of a fall, which is mad. And he was just like, and then I was like, so you're arguing with Robert Plant? And he's like, yeah, I was talking to Jimmy Page about this thing. And I was thinking, wow, just imagine that, you know, which many people can do that. And he's drumming. But the best thing I can say with John is that he's a, a collector. Now, when he was in a band called The Stopouts, I think that that's on YouTube, like a punk band in the 70s, 80s, he was playing in Liverpool Cavern um, and the Eric's. Where I, am, where I am now, right? And uh, he got to know the uh, the Cavan DJ who used to do the uh, the shows with the Beatles, and he used to, he had the I think it was his name again. I'm sorry with names, uh, but he, he, hello Cavan Dwellers. No, that was his thing. This is the Beatles, and then he oh, put the Beatles right. on. He was the MC. Oh, yeah. So we had all these Resla mics, like they called Resla mics, which are uh, amazingly freaking. So uh, when. When it, when John got to know him after like ten years of, he got round to speaking with John and uh, with, with the fella. I, can't remember, I think it was Colin or Ian. Just please bear with me with names and uh, we'll we'll try and put it in. And anyway, he uh, he come up with the bar and he's seen these mics, all these Resler mics, which were the original Cavern mics. So who, you know, the Beatles were playing with and whatever, yeah. and they were all full of tar and you can imagine like ten years of smoking down there and. It was just absolutely full of gunk, as he would say. Yeah. So uh, he said to the fellas, he said, what are you doing with them full of gunk? He said, oh. I'm like, I said, well, I'll give you 50 quid if you have them. All right, yeah. Took the 50 quid, took the uh, the two mics. John being a bit of an engineer, got them in brasso, soaked them in spit, gleaming, absolutely wow. gleaming. And uh, I recorded our album with the Ice Cream Robots called Radiate. That's on Spotify. Um, through the mics and I was thinking fucking hell John Lennon's record through, oh, he used to sing on the Beatles no and there's a photograph with um, with John Lennon with the, the cult because the, the, the long the long neck wrestler with, which which has got a tilt like such then days used to be straight up but this one's got a, a slightly tilt square mic wrestler a reslo a reslo mic that's a reslo and um John said that these were the original cover mics. So, who sang through them? Jerry, all of, all of Maisie Beats, you know, John Lee Hooker, freaking, you, you know, James Brown, all the, and, and I'm there, fucking. Wow. And it just, it just gave me a buzz. I was like, I'm singing through this thing. And he said, yeah, when he showed me the photographs of the fella who he met. Oh, and why man. would you, you know, and you don't, you, you don't hear of whatever, but you know, the connections there, the photographs um, with John's history when he was obviously playing in Eric's and, and the cavern. And he's in our band, he's in, he's a robot, he's an ice cream robot, you know, and um, wow, fantastic, yeah. you know. Yeah, well, I'll be more than happy to interview anyone that you put my way. <laughs> yeah, no you know, yeah, yeah. He, he would tell you, I mean, he's got like the, he's got the first ever Jaguar car, um, which is, he's always pottering around, but he restores things, he likes to do things, he likes, he's always got a medal, you know, it's, it's crazy. He wow. used to work with Kaylee Music as well, um, which is good, one of the best Liverpool uh, music shops. People would come in and say, I'll be thinking I'm gone down and John will be like, Oh, I think it's just bring the doctrinator by the thing. Oh, right. You know, Let's he knows his, he knows everything. Oh, that could be the acon uh, and I think of how does he know that? You know <laughs> what goes on in his head. But John Mitchum, big shout out, and obviously the other fella, Stevie Owen, another yeah. one, he's been in a band uh, the the Red House and stuff as a bassist and his his skills of uh, you know, doing a, our own sort of recording and stuff, his ideas are fantastic. Yeah. He won a BBC award, I think he come number three making a design sort of music. He's very weird though, you know. He'd be playing like a song and he go, Wang on, let's just go into a C minor diminished on that one. You're thinking, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> as in like we'll just take it away from them, the audience. That's what we say. We'll just take it away from the song, just like say like the what we was doing. Uh, say like a uh, radiate, radiate, radiate tunes for you. Radiate the tunes, sound waves, making way for the new ways. And they go, don't they come to get you there? It's something different. And you think, no, this just doesn't work. But then when he does it and it adds to it, he sees the break and we combine and say like, and it, it works out. Yeah. 
And he always says, give the crowd it and then take it off them and then give them it back because it's much better. <laughs> right, no, <laughs> magic of music, you know, and I make him like, um, like songs, which is great. And yeah. Richie, you know, people say a lot about Richie, but he's, he's you know, he's talented. Um, but he's like myself, he's, we, we've got, he's got problems with the addiction of with, the, with, the, with ale and stuff like that. And he's just like the party. He's still young. Yeah. He's younger than me, Richie, but he's, he's made some really good tracks. And um, yeah. as again, I always see the good in people, you know, and I try to think, and, you know, there's talent there, you know, it's his choice. Yeah. If he wants to go down that way, then it's, it's, it's the thing is, it's, not, it's only punishing himself, you know, because you end up in a, in a bad place and, you know, yeah. there you go. I, I think some of the best music comes from dark times and yeah. people going through suffering and struggling. Cause it's like from the soul. Yeah. I like listening to sometimes randomly, it's going to sound, but like blues and stuff when you can feel the emotion in, in it and, it's just so just different. It means, and, yeah. And but, I think that's like the origins of like soul. Sort yeah, of stuff. It, it is. But exactly, that, that's where man, you, you got it. That's where it all started. You know, the blues yeah. was sort of, and then rock and roll came where you know they upbeated it. You no, know, I was in the dark. Yeah, da, 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 da. You know, yeah. let them sing. You know, it was the howling dog. Oh, <laughs> what's his name Howlin' Dog yeah. but the beautiful I mean that's and then that's I mean obviously when you listen to the Beatles and Rolling Stones they that, that was their inspirational sort of stuff yeah you know, so I've probably listened to more blues than I have like yeah. Beatles and sort of stuff yeah. my uncle passed away like five six years ago and uh, I got given like a box full of like this blues collection like all these tapes wow. and my old my old car there has actually got a tape player wow. in it so yeah. they're all in the car listen now and again yeah. and you know, when I'm having a day off drum and bass <laughs> but you could you could add their ideas you know that's the beauty of rock and roll they give you seeds yeah, they always yeah, give anything like anything like that. You know, you think you know, and as you know, with music, they, they start, there's only like say oh, you know seven notes or uh, do re mi fa so la ti do in between. You know, there's yeah. and it's, it's infinitive what you can do with them mixing it. But the thing is, a lot of it now you listen to some like Oasis that they copy from the Beatles. It's called plagiarism. They made it their own. You know, yeah, like Let It Be was like Don't Look Back in Anger, the C D to the G to you know, they, they, but it's not that they've ripped it off. It's just that they've used that chord progression but yeah. put their own sort of thing and it's theirs. Yeah. You know, yeah. we used to say, I, I you know, it's not, that sounds like that, you know, you think, well, it's not because you didn't own it. It's the chord itself. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. You know they're like, they're, they're, you just want to dance and I, the Mavericks, that's just like two chords, you know, I think, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, if you, you know, if you're, you want to pick a guitar up and learn two chords, you can make right a hit. Yeah. With the right sorts of breaks and whatever, you know. I've been subconscious about that as well, like writing music and stuff. I make like a riff or a melody. And I'm like, oh, I really like that, but it sounds too much like that. Like maybe I can't use that. People think of, but like you say, it's, there's only so much music. Yeah. And as long as it's a bit different, you make it unique, Yeah, but if you put your voice you know. in and put your, like, your thing, you know, this like this, this I don't know. There's some songs like that we've worked on the... Uh, we're working on the Om song at the moment. So it's like a meditation sort of one. All oh, right, okay. Tune right in. Uh, yeah, give it, give it a whirl. <laughs> Put the ice cream robots. Yeah, yeah. No. This, this is this one, yeah. Jeff all ahead and the ice cream robots. Tune right in. the sound of the arm the frequency will turn you on where you meditate and heal take you away from the self-sorrow Magic happens when people 
we sing along We can all escape into the sound Play our music till the sun goes down And we play I mean, there's, we're just working on it now. It's brilliant. And, yeah. You know, and you can put all the gongs and the bongs and whatever you want to do. But, you know, yeah, it's yeah. something different. And it's just, we, I mean, personally, the band, we just get together because we enjoy playing. Yeah. You yeah. know, I mean, I'm 51 and I'll be a reality. We're not going to be Oasis. We're not going to be that because we're 51. Yeah. But what we can do, I always say, is that we play, we record. Uh, we got the luxury of got, like, you know, what? Well, a homemade recording studio and we just put it out there, you know, and people want to listen. You know, yeah. You're leaving be- your legacy, aren't you? That's it, like, yeah. I did. When you're long, long gone. Yeah, your, your music lives on. Lives on. Yeah. Yeah, I always yeah. say that, you know, when like, obviously with my daughter Rio and stuff and, you know, and family members and thing and they'll look back. Yeah, Even at this podcast and thing, and if you're looking now, it's hundred years on, <laughs> and I'm gone, <laughs> yeah, and you tuned right in, you know, yeah. and we're still going. It hasn't been a, a nuclear war. Fingers crossed. That's getting hairy, isn't it? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. stuff like that's getting really scary. And um, you know, we're here, and people can listen to it because I choose to be in the love and the light. You know, I'm, I'm trying to project my life with the the angel numbers. If you do see new numbers with new men, they, they, yeah. they're appearing lots of me. It's funny like you the, should say that. Cause, yeah. yeah, deep, pretty deep thing with myself. Yeah, like I lost my brother back in my big brother back in 2007, and um, it's really strange, really, because this stuff had never happened before. But it's going through a bit of a low point, and then. I kept noticing 23, 23 every time. I'd just pick up the phone randomly and it'd be 23 minutes past. And have a lot of these 20... Have you 20, Googled that? You Google 23, 23? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff out yeah. there, but it's just... Some will say it's a bad thing, but for me it's, it's not been... bad because it's, it's it's everything I've read. It's saying that there's there's like an angel guidance, you know. Exactly. And then I when you read like, it, yeah. it, it does feel that you know what? And a lot of people I put on Facebook, and a lot of people go, "Hang on, yeah." And it inspires. It's not bad at all, you know. It's it's more good. You thinking, wow, really? And do you know what? It, because obviously the song. I mean, going but the, you know, you'll never walk alone. You will never die alone. There's always people around you. You know, we're all in it together. Yeah. And. You know, I got taught, I don't know if people want to believe this, but we're all made out of energy, which are with all these frequencies on me, like electricity. That's, yeah. that's, that's physics. And I always say, when your, your flesh dies, your body, that energy has got to go somewhere. Yeah. As of in, course, you course. know, as in, you know, it's, it's, it's in a ter- it's infinitive. I experienced it because I, I didn't believe in the afterlife or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I was brought up Catholic, but didn't really care, Me you too, know, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. never followed it really. And I never really believed in anything like that. But then after my brother passed, all these little things kept happening. Like I'd be driving in the car and the radio switched itself on. And then the words at that point of the song was as if it was like a message to me and I'd just burst into tears and then it'd be 23 on the time. And this stuff just kept happening and happening as if he was trying to show me little signs. So I started looking back. Amazing, amazing. I'm back in the day where one of my first jobs was like a radio operator in a taxi yeah. rank and my brother was a driver there and he was car 23 
Now, and then looking further into it, the day he was born adds up to 23. The day he dies adds up to 23. Fast forward to 2011 when my son was born. My son was born on the 11th of the 1st, 2011, which is like 11, 1, 11, yeah. adds up to 23. And we've just had a series of it just happening and happening. Just Can I honestly say to you, listen, I, I will tell you now the truth, right? Uh, which instinct, I'm picking it up as in like the buzz, and that is true. Yeah. But here, and doesn't that give you, right, uh, it gives you strength. It yeah, gives definitely. a lot of people strength. And when you do discover it, people might not believe it or whatever, but when you do, the, the inner self starts to think, and do you know what? Because one thing that we all know for saying is that we will die, this body will die, and it's a scary thought, really, you know, when you don't know when your time is up. People think that's it, when your time is up, you're gone. Yeah. But no. at the same time, you know that, you know, you know, you've got things where you think there's, there's, there's something to go ahead of. And also you can better yourself because I, I believe, truly believe that each one of us are, are being put here for, to, to, you know, to fulfill tests and to find those experiences. Yeah. Even in bad experiences, I think, yeah, that was bad. You know, oh Christ, I can better myself. You yeah, know, of course. Every time there's always forks, you know, every choice you make is a positive for yourself as a negative. Yeah. You know, I've had it like a prompt where I'm thinking yeah. like a, a, a choice sort of thing. Or yeah. should, I, should I do this thing or should I not? And then I'll see the 23 and then it almost makes me think, are you trying to tell me not to do it or to do it? You know, and then it's just like, wow. Well, if it's in a good nature, you know, do you say follow your heart, you know? Yeah, it's, you just feel it sometimes. But you know what, feeling is good because that's, that's, that's your, your little lie, you know. You've got to wake up a lot yeah. of, in this Western world now of being suppressed of that, of that yeah. energy. Yeah. Because we're all like spiritual beings, aren't we? Yeah. Put, put on this earth to do what? You know, what's yeah. the meaning? If there was no meaning since your life, then it'd be chaos. Yeah. But if you're mean, if you've got your son, I've got my daughter, and you've got your family around, I think my mean is just to make people happy. Definitely. You know, yeah. to go yeah. out and make people happy or give give my energy to something, you know, try to help someone and try to make them, you know, in, in that way. And I'm lucky that I've been given and I've chose the job that I'm I'm up there, you know, and I've got yeah. to put up with the karaoke junkies, you know. Yeah. This fella thinks he's robbing <laughs> gay. This fella thinks he's... Yeah. <laughs> I said, what is he singing like that for? <laughs> he must think that Robin... Everyone's just like, oh, God, not him. No, oh, no, he gets up, you know. And you know what? It's For me, I just think he's doing it, but it's some of them. Yeah, Popeye's one of them. And Marie and the girls, oh, they always come every weekend, Marie. Stop being nasty, Popeye, when you've had too much to drink, because he, he does get on people's nerves, and a lot of people don't realize, uh, won't, won't say it to him because obviously he's got that disability of being, you know... Yeah, the family guy, which is oh, it's crazy, but it's, it's horrible to say. But he, he takes advantage of stop it, Popeye, ruining my show. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you sing, but just just please go easy on other people. Yeah, and you know, and I get it all the time, and I've got to, and that, that's that's it. You know, if people do want to get angry with you anything, that's a good thing because then they're taking it out on you, and you've got to be your thing. You can either go with it, negative. You know, many times, oh, shut up, oh, fuck off then. You know, you've exploded yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think, you know, this negative, but if you keep on doing it, you can walk away or just, I always put a shield up now, it's called, I put a shield, I put a big S in my head, and it's like, I'm hiding behind the shield. You can't know. I see a big fucking shield, and I think, shield. And then I sit behind the shield, and I'm like that, chill, chill, as they're just like, Giving yeah. me and the shite's bouncing off because you get a lot of people who are negative vampires to come in. Yeah, so they negative. Feed, feed you know, oh, they feed and they, yeah. you know, the atmosphere and they, oh, they come in and you can just know that the atmosphere turns and why? Because someone's like yeah. looking on the, or someone comes on, on the dance floor and starts shadow boxing, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's been a big, great weekend. I want to give a big shout out. I mean, Tyson Fury as well. I mean, yeah, I'm, wow, yeah. He is, he's been an inspiration to, like, yeah, you know, even like everyone. Yeah. Even me, me, me Mrs. Karen, we, we watch, you know, she loves Paris. The whole family, the dad's amazing. And he's, <laughs> he's just not, I do, do you know, imagine them ruling the country. Boris, oh, yeah. do me a favor, stand down now, Boris. You made a mistake. <laughs> you broke the law. I'm sorry, mate. I can't even go for jobs because I broke the law. I can't, do you get what I mean? Yeah. 
And because I accept it, you accept it, you know. People like me, I swear to God, Tyson Fury, right? If he was not not saying a politician, but he is, he's a natural, natural loving human being, you know. He's, he's being sent, he is. A, I think Mike Tyson said he's like, a, he's like a, what do you call it, an apostle or a, um, he, he come up with the word. What do you call it, a fellow? What was the word? Someone's like high, like like David, uh, uh, the Goliath, and he's he's a legend, you know. He's a and we're lucky to have him in, in our lifetime because of what he's yeah. done. He's you know, funny as well because I've, I've seen him doing the squaring up with that guy. He's just fought Dylan and White. They yeah. both stood there all serious. The next minute, he's like tickle, tickle. <laughs> like everyone's it's just, just amazing. Everyone's just laughing. Like. Do you know what? Do you know what? As a, I mean, as a boxer, like I've boxed, and and I know how hard it is. Yeah. But he's just, it's an, he's done something. But what he does, like Muhammad Ali did, you know, because obviously at the time, you know, the, the blacks were getting suppressed. It, 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 it was horrible in, in America with them. And, and Muhammad Ali was stood up for his own rights. And, and he was like, you know, yeah, you know, I, he, he, did, he refused to go to Vietnam because he said, it's not my, I don't want to hear. What, what have I got against the yellow people? Mm, mm. You know, what, why are you putting me into war? Yeah. Which we'll go on to, which you what we're saying with the Illuminati. Yeah, definitely. The Cabal, yeah. <laughs> Bloody yeah. Cabal. Can you imagine though being like now, like, I mean, how would that, with what's going on in the Ukraine, you know, just for, for instance, now, because it's not going to stop. I don't know where, is it going to stop me saying, how will it get stopped? And yeah. this is the thing what I'm going to say. It, we've all failed as people voting these people in who, who supposed to protect. The politician means, uh, you know, <clears throat> I'm going to put myself out of the equation. My job is to make for the best of the people. In this life, what's the good to live? We, we need, obviously, food, shelter, and water. That's all freely done if you can all connect and make, you know, and it's there for us to survive, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. with the people, just imagine, like, foods, if you, if you, what we're doing now with, obviously, with farms, we could, like, chickens and eggs and whatever you want to do, growing vegetables, you know. You know, there's yeah. so much that we can do, and there's so many, um, we can't feed the world if we all get in it together. So these we, we hire these politicians or we vote for these pod to do this thing to make our lives better lives. We've got to advance. But it's these politicians, without me saying it, are just not for the people. Yeah. They're not doing, they're creating wars. It's almost like that war machine is like profit, isn't it? Like they're making money off So we're going to go deep into what like a lot of people have seen now and waking up to and thinking, do you know what? I would say to these, like, say to like, like President Putin, right, Mister Putin, get out yourself, go and go as a fist, man to man, right, and have it out with who, with the uh, Zelensky, the, uh, Zelensky fella, just yeah. have a statement with them. Yeah, stop bringing your problems on, on being like I'm in power. Simple as, and all these like people want to follow him to do, you know, because I know that a lot of Russians. Um, like thinking the families, they don't want to be seeing babies and children because it's their own source. You know, it's like, yeah. Well, we're, we're, let's talk about humans. No, so we're all human. We all feel pain, I and mean, we you know what it's like to lose, like your mother or your baby. Or it's, it's these things are happening now, yeah. which we actually learn from World War Two. You know, you're thinking they're coming on the news, but there's a lot more too because obviously. Uh, Russia might have a sign thinking, hang on, you're creeping up here and you're putting, yeah, of course, you're, yeah. you're, you're coming to my thing and pointing missiles at me and I'm, I feel friend. So therefore, peacefully say, well, okay, let's use what we voted for to negotiate a better life for us all. Yeah. If they can't do it, then what are we doing? What, are, what is going on? You know, what the reality is that Russia want some of Ukraine. Why did he want Ukraine? Because of the wheat or the minerals. Well, let's share it. That's what we do. We export. You know, like, for instance, like, India's got the tea. <clears throat> we'll just yeah. transport it to England, call it Yorkshire tea. Yeah. And so, and we'll give you cars or we give you parts or whatever. And it's, that's how we you know, that's how yeah. we work. It's like, um, a, it's, um, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the first casualty of war is truth and not everything we're seeing is as transparent as it should be and it seems as if that they should be working out what's going on both sides of the argument and like you said some middle ground and, and working out some sort of peace process but all we're getting is like one-sided one-sided and the other person with the other view has been totally shut off the internet 
excluded from having you know, a voice. Sc- very scary, you know. Putting us in a worse position, I think. But. And also, they're always, I, I mean, there's a lot of things from wrong. What happens in World War Three? How many minutes have you got? And that, it's like, it's like they're making it happen, you know? Yeah. And this will happen, you'll have 10 minutes to go into this thing, but then this will come over there, and, and then China will get into Taiwan, and then, then the... Uh, oh, I just might as well end it now. The North Korea I mean? will be put... <laughs> do you know, the, the, the scary thing is, imagine when the Euros, and then the, 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 you've won the Euros for 80 million, and then, you know, it sounds funny, and you, you, you're thinking, yeah! And then the, the nuclear war, that's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're thinking. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> and just got all the way to win the Euros, and you know, yeah. it's. But you know, it's scary because I'm actually thinking, it's just gonna well, but you know, apart from you know the World War Three on the making, people don't really want to watch the news now, and that's it's scary because the news is, as you say, it's all been bent and corrupt and with whatever's going on. You know, this is the news what we're talking about. People go, yeah, I know. Yeah. You know, they've all, there's loads of fellas out there and girls who've got their own, they, they make their own mind up. And instincts are right. It stinks. Mm. I just wish to God that the, Boris should be as a leader saying, I want to speak to Mr. Putin because we can offer him such and such. Yeah, of course. Okay, and the Ukraine has got to say, okay, look, look, what what, what you're lacking? What what do you need? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just want the power. And you think, how the hell did he get into the thing? You know, Hitler... You know, years ago, you think of these massive German mostly fellas, some fellas just like a Krankenstein of Hitler coming along going, yeah. you get that? that. Nowadays, yes. you'll come here, mate, grab his head and just go, Yeti, shut <laughs> up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, t- imagine if Tyson Fury was the president, you know, which is <laughs> it's, it, which would be brilliant. Yeah. Shut up. You know, yeah. do me a favour. He, he'll just want to get with your family, you know, what, what's up, what do you want? Yeah. What, why do you want the powers for what? Because what we're going to do, we're going to disarm everything, right? Guns and bombs and whatever. Let's just throw them away. Can't we just be civilised? Everybody could have food, shelter and water. We have got the vicinity to do that with the communication. There's vast amounts of deserts, right? This will make you laugh, which now can be cultivated because we now can can, uh, get free electricity from like solar panels and whatever, which creates climate. If you create climate... You're creating then like sort of like green. I've seen in Holland massive greenhouses which produce the vegetables. Wow. So all these vast wastelands now can be fertile. Wow, no. Using way. the seawater no to be like sort of steamed, processed, and feeding it. So realistically, with the amount of things that we've got, the technology, we can make this world in abundance. Yeah. Abundance with food. And you know it makes you wonder why they don't know. <laughs> like well, well, let's open our eyes. I mean, but we are opening it, you know. What's scary as well, which is, it's going into like the, it's the, it's artificial intelligence. Yeah. We've got to be wary what's, what's going on, you know. And uh, in my eyes, I'm thinking, you know, because if you, it's something like the Terminator, you know, where you've, des- you've designed Skynet, stuff like that, which you're doing, they can control everything. Before you know it, they're going to, whoever's very intelligent, if whoever's programmed like humans, we have got the chimpanzee gene, which it sounds crazy. That's why we always fight. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Tribalism and Ooh, stuff like it's my inside. There's which always also leads a bit into somewhere yeah. else you were talking about earlier with the football stuff we can go into later. So naturally this is yeah. we've got to realise that's what they call the, 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 that chimpanzee gene in us, where we like to be tribal and sides and gangs yeah. of like uh, you know he'd look, pff, look, the royal you know there's our royalty and there's the silverback sitting there you know but I'd like Tyson Fury to be the big silverback you know he's answered that he's yeah, everywhere yeah. years ago that was it I'm king no you're not Tyson Fury yeah, comes yeah. along you're thinking so you're like, let's have a straight and he said some stuff as well didn't he going back some Conspiracy type stuff I won't say too much what he said, but yeah, but his dad, I think he went through yeah, a bit of a yeah, he goes, awakening phase. It's, but a, it's awakening, and he doesn't really want to just all he's concerned, which I'm concerned, which is great, just about his own family course. and the people around him. Other than that, he, he can just get on. But what he doesn't realise is that the way things are going, that it's in the end, it's gonna, it's gonna cross because you know 
with the, with what happened with all the COVID, you know, it's out there, but some of the things and restrictions and what what yeah. happens, you know, we were all we were all like, you know, it's just crazy, but they stopped and they tried to like small businesses that I know of shut down and they can't get on the feet. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. myself, I was in entertainment, that was it. You know how to work. If you said yeah. anything against the official narrative in a public forum, he doesn't he care. <laughs> he doesn't care. He, he wants to kill everybody. Channel he's deleted, gone. Yep, yep. gone. Just, bingo, bango, yeah. gone. I know. Three things. So, Twice. <laughs> yeah, so it's very yeah. hard. You're thinking, but you just want to speak the truth, you know. And now it's all coming out. You're thinking, okay, it's not logic anymore. There's a lot of things that are hidden. But we can't really speak about you know, which is right. Yeah. We can speak about it in closed doors, but maybe not publicise it. Or other, there are other platforms out there, uh, yeah. BitChute um, and Odyssey. Okay, big platform there that a lot of the banned YouTubers and stuff went yeah. over to. But it's one of them. You got. To, I got to the point where it's like, well, if I go over there and start doing videos over there, I'm just preaching to the choir. It's just people who already know about. They know it. about it. Yeah. It's, so if it's, you know, you know. And what's going to change? Know, you know, it's it. All we can so. do is think about, you know, is, I just think again, it's just, what is the meaning of life? It's pursuit of happiness, you know, you've got to be happy in yourself. If you're happy in yourself, you're happy to others, you know? Yeah. And that, if someone says to me, what you take a day to day, just thinking, I'm going to be happy today. And your mind's brilliant because your mind can, you know, it's, it's a, attracts, you know, today I want to be, I want to be worthy of abundance of happiness and health. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you see these affirmations and you say them, they're like the book, The Secrets. It does work, you know. Yeah. yeah. Cause you're absolutely thinking, I'm going to be really happy today or, or then the defense, the shield, someone getting on your nerves, shield, big S in your head or love, love and compassion, breathe. But you know what I've been discovering is that, I mean, I, I love sausages and meat and, you know, the, the English brought, brought up. Do you want a sausage butter with brown sauce? Come, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. You can't know. have the brown sauce. So you eat that, but you know, I have discovered after like a lot of meat, I'm, I'm really like, that's like from the boxing. You get like, some pisses, you're like driving is like the, the classic, like the flash, the bang temper, you know, where and suddenly someone pulls in front of you and then you're cursing them, you know, you and all of and that rage thing, and you want to get out the car and, and have a big confrontation with them. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you're thinking you're in the right, but but you get so many people like today that you know it, it, I didn't realise that there was a big crew and people and what it was, it was just a lane of drivers to hold as soon as a tail back and everyone wants to get in front of the on the inside lanes like a and then it's just obviously, it's great. All right, we'll just, and then, boop, mm, mm, and you think to yourself, that's where it's kickoffs. You know, yeah. my mate, Eddie Williams, bless him, he sees it every day because he's on the road every day and he's a big truck driver, you know, and he's, some of his videos are funny. <laughs> I need to check him out, definitely. It's going on with the cyclist lane, you know, the, the, there's a lot of cyclist lanes being put up. Um, I will, this is like, this is the rant now, we should just have some rants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a flyover by ours, which is like the main artery from like uh, Hoy Lake, West Kirby, and they come from over, the, the flyover onto the motorway. So, obviously, the council now, there's two lanes, you know, you got buses all going to Liverpool or Birkenhead. It's a, it's a main artery, so it's like, uh, you know, and so all of a sudden, road work has stopped. We're putting a cycle lane either side, taking one lane with all sticks. Honestly, it's like a bottleneck. Yeah. Do, are we doing it for the greenery? Oh, yeah. Well, what you've done, you just caused the tailback and the cars are just chugging out extra shite into the atmosphere. Yeah. People are getting frustrated. Mm-hmm. Then there's, then you go down to the roundabout and there's Tesco's. They've got to filter out. It's like five, nice. like, it's just uh, into one lane. Yeah. So whoever designed that, please, road safety, just check it out. I'm just telling you the truth. Stuff like that. You know, if I was like yeah. the planner or the organiser, oh, we're going to put a cycle in there. Would it work? Well, let's go down there. Get a camera. How many cycles go over that bridge? To be honest with you, not as many as they think, you know. Yeah. Many cyclists now want to go on a, on a route. They usually travel on the shoreline, on the weddle, just sound the weddle. So really, that, but what, what, no, they've got, they've had a lot of money, the budgets, and they've got to do something with the budgets. I'll yeah. tell you what you should do. Put some more money in making beds and houses and homes and shelters. And, and, and the people that at the moment are struggling with all the heating bills and whatever, that's going sky high. Yeah. Make sure you make a food bank. Give, no one in Britain should struggle. 
from what we've yeah, done, especially like the taxpayers. Hello, you know, we pay our tax. With, I've earned, I've earned and keep. I've done what I've done. You know, later years, you should be rewarded. You know, yeah, they're struggling now. You know, there's no incentive, is there, for people now who work all their life and retire and then. They can get the house took off them and the kids get nothing and it's just... Well, it, it, it just say, for instance, oh, they're going to go to a care home. So That's what? it, yeah, they need to pay for that so they're going to sell the home and... See, most people now, they, they think, right, so this, I'm going to I'm gonna declare myself depressed all day yeah. and then I'm going to go and get the pip. We call them the pipettes. Yeah, yeah. Let's pip again, you know, pip the PIP. <laughs> got a song about that one. <laughs> well, let's pip again, <laughs> like we did last year. Oh, no, I've got a dodgy year. <laughs> I've got sciatica once again. Let's pip again. You know, just pip at, you know. And, and did, why should I pay for it? Because they're not better off to get their house. The yeah. council pays for it. And then, you know, with a tax. And then they claim, and then the kids have got all sorts of wrong with them. They've got ADHD on their ADC and all different things. You know. Yeah. But then you see them on Facebook like that. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> you know, they get the pip and they're like, Trout pouch and <laughs> see me new nails. Just go on a pub and you see all the peppets, you know that? <laughs> how are you, do you know, like, how much of a pint today? You think, how much is a five quid, you know, in Liverpool on a, on a Saturday night, you go, wow. five pounds for a friggin' pint. It's five or a pint now. Yeah, some venues, <sighs> people pay it, don't wow. they? It's mad. So has the alcohol gone up as well? Yeah, as some saying. So you see these people then day in, day out, you think, you know, how, how do you I do just it, think, you know? you know, good luck to them. But yeah, at the same, no, at, I no at the same time, what I'm trying to say, but when you see the people who desperately do need, yeah. you can't say, you know, when someone, because they don't claim for it. Yeah. See, look, at, it, I look at all the suicides where the government's yeah. told people, oh, you're fit to go back to work now. And they haven't actually been fit. And then they top themselves and it'll come out in the yeah. media that this person shouldn't have. And then you look at that, um, I think it's... Um, I can't remember the name of the department now that handles all the uh, claims and they have like a private doctor who will sort of review it for the sick, the yeah. medicals. And um, they did some study and it was like 80% of the appeals win. So that means 80% of them shouldn't have been struck off in the first place. And it's yeah. all about revenue, revenue. How can we save money? And Well, it's, you know so, what, to the genuine people, you know, who need it. You it's know, sad. You know, it's sad. You know, you hear the cases like your mate in the army, couldn't, son, all of a sudden he couldn't walk, like MS, he got something. And, you know, he's struggling to get what he is. And he, and if you see, like, soldiers on the street, yeah, he's well, safe for his country, man. you know, he's safe for his country. Yeah. And with all due respect, like, because a, a little saying here, um, England's like a life raft. You know, welcome anybody like children or kids. Yeah. But in the end, if the life full gets full, it'll sink. Yeah. So in some way now, we've got to do deal with something. Now, again, let's get back to the, the food, shelter and water. You know, it's all we need. If we work for that and the fields and say, for instance, people come over here and you say, all right, well, what we'll do, we'll give you the job processing this and you'll give it, you'll get you some like an accommodation where you, you, you're helping the community. Yeah. But they don't, they just want to sit on their asses. And and this is where the problems, and everybody, you know, the, the most people who are waiting, going, well, hang on a minute. Yeah. You're doing, you've just done this, but then you've got Joe Bloggs, who's just done five years or six years in the army, risked his life for this country, yeah, who's now sitting there because he's he's mentally, you should look after your own before you go anywhere. Yeah. Does it go down to national service? Or not, not the army as such, but the national service of looking after, like, the street cleaning and... You know, yeah. community help, you know, like it sounds crazy, but how much dirt and love is so, you know, picking things up. There's a lot of jobs that you can be done. And if they want to claim uh, job seekers, then give them a little bit of a job because there's a lot of things to do. Yeah. And I think the government should break it down into like, say, say for it's Oldham's job thing, to everybody who's got, haven't got a job, turn up. And you can advance your way through there of growing process and that you know it's amazing what we can do yeah give yeah, people something and, and if they don't want to do it bow, 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 <laughs> yeah. then i'm sorry yeah, you, yeah. you're not getting paid i i i think there should be a total ban on all this uh self-checkout thing because like the supermarkets are making tons of money in the areas yeah and then you go in now and there's there's one one person on a till and then you've got queues and queues oh. of self-service but then they'll have like four staff members in tesco's monitoring people, making sure they're scanning stuff right, and you think they could be on the tills. It's all about saving money, whereas the supermarkets used to create 
um, jobs Work, for yeah, the community, that's right. and it's all going automated. And it gets you all stressed on it, and you feel yeah. like you're robbing it. But bloop, part part bloop. of that is part of this global thing of sustainable development, yeah, smart right. cities, yeah. AI. It's like, what kind of life? Where are we going for our kids and kids' kids? But yeah. We've just got to escape, you know, so anybody who's listening to this, I mean, it sounds, oh, it's, it is. When you think about life today, it's a lot stressful. Yeah. You've, you've, you've got to meditate and it's good just to try and like picture of a, like, a, what is meditation? Meditation is putting, trying to clear your head of thoughts, having a clear consciousness of like whatever. So people usually just think, well, just give yourself a big peace sign, yeah. breathe in the peace and the love and you just, just relax and live in that now moments and let everything go away. If you can do that even when you go to the toilet, it sounds crazy, but that, I mean, I, I met a person, he said, well, I meditate on the poo. Yeah. He's just like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the only piece you get. You know, right, you know so. that, like, oh, then start giving yourself, oh, oh today I'm going to try and do this, I'm going to try and yeah, yeah. make people happy, I'm going to, you know, and, and give yourself a pick up, you know. Yeah. And if you're generally feeling really low, then there's a lot of people you can talk to. You there know, is. They, they, yeah, yeah, I can't out, stress that You know, enough. talk about things and let let it out. I mean, I, I used to, I, that was my biggest thing. I used to bottle things up and that obviously... I, I realised now when I used to get drunk, that was me like just to go to like the park somewhere yeah. in the woods and scream at the moon. Yeah. Not a proper scream. I thought so I might just open a shop, the scream shop. Just come in and scream is like Yeah, you'll feel better. <laughs> We have them uh, is yeah. it rec rooms, I yeah. think, where you can just go and yeah. smash stuff. Smash like, things up yeah, like yeah. a rec room. And there we have like a happy room. It was just laughing the heads <laughs> off like, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, yeah. Best form of stress, you know. Yeah. If someone's stressed out when you have a good laugh, you know. You yeah. hear some crazy jokes like, you know, why did Humpty Dumpty push his bird off the wall <laughs> to see a crack, you know. <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. But then when you're at that time, you know, just... Stupid things, yeah. Stupid. Thing. I always, I mean, I mean, the best thing I can do now for these like karaoke junkies who do me head in that much is I can brew a fart up and fart as he introduced them, and it's like something like American Pie. All right. Bye. <laughs> and, <it's, laughs> and then these are like a proper like mackerel brown sauce, you know, that, 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 that's gonna hit them. Especially when I spray. <laughs> I thought, get me on back now. I've right been pretty down. lucky in this room, and I so far. No, I, I, I would never drop a bomb in here, mate. So that's there's no air in here either. You know, in years to come, I'll be able to the smell a meters where you can smell it. You know, just uh, smell below. You know, <laughs> we've had that one, you know. Yeah, you know? Yeah. But you know, the things like that. You know, the, again, I, it's funny, but it makes me yeah. laugh. You can't, you've got to have a bit of humour. That's what I say yeah. to people when they're depressed. Do, do you not like stand up or any kind of fun or watch, funny yeah, stuff? You watch you know? something funny, you know, because you look on Netflix and it's a lot of sort of violence and the yeah. storyline that they like. They, they have a big like gangsters or gang warfare. They have a big fight, then he becomes a hero, then he gets the girl, then he, you know, that some. I think Ricky Gervais is brilliant. I think he's same man. I, yeah. yeah, I'm glad you said that. I've been going back and um, listening. To, I never heard it at the time, but you know the XFM podcast. Okay, with Carl Pilkington. Yeah, the radio shows and podcasts they used to do for years, many years ago. Oh yeah, um, that, do you know? I've, I've never snippets of that. Do you know what I'm even to discover again? Because I think he just yeah gives me that that laugh. You know, when you Hilarious. deeply laugh about something, you know, <laughs> it's, he told a joke, but he, the way he told it was like, how did he get away with that one about? Uh, the girl who's coming to the police station, she said, I've just been raped. All right. <laughs> and it's like, what do you mean? You're being raped? She said, no, there was a bunch of them. Yeah. I mean, he can't even make a joke about that, but he he, no. he, he turned it around in that, in that way. How, how did he do it? How did he get... see him on the, on the awards, you know, and he's... Yeah, calling he's, them all paedophiles. Oh, and... my God. And, he, you know, it's great, though. Yeah. You're thinking, go ahead, Ricky. No one slapped him, did they? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, do you know what I mean? That's, is, again, there's a conspiracy behind that one, but the old Will Smith, you know. Yeah, I bet I can imagine. Well, the ratings had never been so high, had they? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's again, know. you know, but to be honest with you, right, if someone said to me, right, get on stage, slags like, say, slag gear, uh, pay blacky off, like, if I come in and just fucking wing me. <laughs> it's all being set up, you know. I wouldn't like it to be mad. Because really, you know, I mean, pff, that one punch, you know, you, you hear about people getting like falling off caves and stuff like that. I Damage know, and it punch. can trigger cancers and stuff, you know, yeah, like a, yeah. you know. Or crane, kill you, just kill, one kill smack, you. Kill you. One smack. That's the yeah. that's a scary part. You know, it's it's Poo, but that that's I mean take me out where are you, man? You know, fair enough. But yeah. 
he's having a bad day, isn't he? And he's, he's <laughs> protect, it is. He's, uh, that's again the chimpanzee, the side, you know. Yeah. Back to the sides, you know that that ego. Oh, it's mine, mine. Yeah. And yeah. like I, as again, with I think he's been banned for ten years now from the Oscars. Oh, has he? Yeah, yeah, for that. So it's crazy. Is he really asked though? Because he's probably he's just got like well, everything in his, it. He's, he's, he's done everything in his life. <laughs> that's it. Do you know what? I give him his credit when he's, he played Ali. You know, and his, his films are great. You know. Yeah. I mean, the Alien was good. That 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 that, that is real now, isn't it? You know, when you think, <laughs> you know, I didn't realize at the moment that this, as we we're speaking, there's 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 uh, the Pleiadians who are like uh, an alien race from uh, the Pleiades. Right. They, they're circulating this planet, apparently. Mm. And have you ever seen on, yeah, well, it was on Netflix about the UFOs uh, all showing up around like nuclear uh, bombs and nuclear sites, you know, the I've White seen, House. I've, when I, I used to, uh, I used to co-host um, a show with, a, I won't mention any names, but a yeah. guy who passed away not so long ago, conspiracy sort of world. And it was like broadcast over in America in two states and all on the internet and stuff. It's pretty popular. You stuff like yeah. 5,000 listeners and stuff every night. And um, we got into all that stuff and we actually interviewed a few pilots and stuff. And there's quite a lot of reports of it's UFO it, sightings stats. and then like yeah. weaponry all of a sudden not working, electronics failing. We had a control, you know, so. that, that was, I mean, the, the, the nuclear moment, the, the scary one, the, the, the flip side to it is where like uh, an alien force can come down and say, right, and create a nuclear war. My, my, detonating the, uh, the the warning of like say America's throwing a nuclear missile in there and okay it's coming now and then they they, 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 they replicate it and at one stage it was going off yeah. and then they shut it down like that big massive pyramid um, spaceship above the White House you know oh yeah you know? yeah yeah, I know. I watched something. I'm gonna listen. This program there, uh, Sam the Illusionist. He's, he's on. He's on YouTube, by the way. He's, in, he's he actually channels. What I mean, he, he gives their body, and that's the alien talk through him. It sounds very bizarre, people, but a lot of people <laughs> actually, when he when he actually talks, you go, what made him say that anyway? Yeah. You know, it's Sam the Illusionist, and I'd be just listening to it because my open mind. I'm thinking, since David, I come up with all the uh, shape shifting and stuff, and he starts to open your eyes. Think, well, that. That dot adds up to that dot. It's a bit far fetched what he's saying there, but you know what? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? You know, this yeah. craziness. So it's dumb your eyes off. I don't mind if you don't like it, if you don't disregard it. Yeah. But it's, for me, it's interesting. You know, it's like oh, I'm discovering new little paths there. Yeah. yeah. But there's like an, um, there's the, the Palladians were on the, the Good Federation are trying to say to Earth, oh, this instant now in Ukraine, it, you know, it's getting out of hand a little bit. You know, we don't want this Earth to be. You know, because the Earth itself is a living is a living force. You know, yeah. It's called I think what's it called? Uh, little, what's the word? Gaia, Gaia or Gaia? Oh yeah, yeah. You know that, and they reckon you know there's 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 actually it has a pulse the, as well. Don't yeah, it? there's like, aliens out yeah. there who are like stars who, who are like say that's 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 a living that's a living entity. You know, the, the Earth is a living entity. So take care of it, please. You know. It's like we've got the divine right to own it. But what about all, like, the, you know, like the polar bears now that's stuck on, like, melting ice thing? And where's my own gun? You yeah, know? yeah. Can I have a swimming all my life, you know? Yeah. And they just kill them, you know? You think, I mean, not taking consideration. We should have been the gardeners like the old Adam and Eve, and we were the gardeners. And yeah. our purpose is to keep cultivated and make sure everything grows naturally and yeah. plant more seeds and enjoy the Garden of Eden. Yeah. And all of a sudden, now it's just this big, massive, dirty city, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now everyone's in the city all crumped up, you know? And all the people who have made it rich are in the freaking countryside. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they're making the money out of the city, the dirty city, and they're just, like, properly like, oh. <laughs> yes, uh, what I'll do is increase the, um, you know, their control of the banks and whatever, you know? Wow. Yeah. Stop it! I always, please. I always say like the biggest threat to the planet really is humans yeah. and the greed and all this trouble. That was the uh, one of my songs on, on the robots called Parasites. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you have a little blast on the old parasites. <laughs> this is from the Ice Cream Robots. Um, sounds better with the band. That's it. Parasites. Are we living or just surviving? Do we live in a free environment? Do we practice what we're preaching? Are we just taking while the earth is bleeding? Tell me why. 
Why do people die when governments lie for nothing? Or is it something? Something we're missing? Do we care or listen? Turning to parasites, taking the world outright. Yet we know it's not right. Yet we do not fight. Parasites, sites, 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 taking the world outright. Yes, we know it's not right. Yes, we do not fight. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is bleeding. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is needing. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is bleeding. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is needing. Big shout out for the tune in the place. Gonna rock this earth and the human race. Time to realize it's not going to plan. Time to realize we're parasites, man. Tell me why. Why do people die when governments lie for nothing? Or is it something? Something we're missing. Do we care or listen? Are we just living for money and oil? Burning the fuels, destroying our soil. Taking all the fishes in the sea. Cutting down the trees so we can't breathe. I said, why? Why do people die when governments lie for nothing? Or is it something? Something we're missing. <laughs> Do we care or listen? Turn into parasites, taking the world outright. Yet we know it's not right. Yet we do not fight. Parasites, sites, 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 taking the world outright. Yes, we know it's not right. Yes, we do not fight. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is bleeding. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is needing. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is bleeding. Booyaka, booyaka. The world is needing. Big shout out for the tune in that place. Gonna rock this earth and the human race. Time to realize it's not going to plan. Time to realize we're parasites, man. Tell me why. Why do people die when governments lie for nothing? Or is it something, something we're missing? Do we care or listen? Parasites, 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 parasites. Excellent. There you go. <laughs> Parasites, it's on Spotify. Really How is it? It's on Spotify, that right. with the ice cream robots, the, the, the whole album's called Radiate. Yeah, so you just reminded me there with the sound that you did in that song, the little ps, 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 Oh, yeah. Of like a, maybe a helicopter sound you did from a story on Sean's show. Oh, yes. <laughs> the, uh, the Brigadier, yeah. The yeah. New Year's Eve. It was absolutely hilarious. The New Year's Eve party happening in Victor 2, <laughs> way over in uh, London Derry, or Derry, sorry, London Derry on the uh, Buchanan Road. Yeah, it was a strange one, that, because um, uh, with the sadness, uh, we just experienced an attack by the uh, the, the IRA <clears throat> onto the, uh, the checkpoints, and we lost... Uh, you know, five Kingos and six, five Kingos or uh, Kingsman blew up by a thousand pound explosive. Jesus. Um, and it was actually, uh, it was actually, pff, the whole story's uh, pretty interesting because there was a fella called Gillespie who used to work as a chef in the in the army barracks um, in, in Derry or London Derry in Ireland, Northern Ireland, for you people that don't know. And I was saving a soldier, and uh, our job was to uh, patrol and maintain the peace. 
Yes, and um, we got given these checkpoints where we would stop and search the cars, making sure that there's no illegal weapons going in and out of islands and, you know, explosives and stuff like that to save people's lives. Yeah. That was it. It's a war. You're in islands. It's a war. It's a guerrilla war. You don't know who's who or whatever. But we did have a clue who, who, who some of the... Uh, the, the the leading IRA, but most of the time, you know, it's they're elusive. You know, it's wow. And yeah. that, I mean, at the time, I was, I think I was little nineteen, twenty, and then the nineteen, you know, going into my twenties, and then I ended up in Northern Ireland, and way back in nineteen ninety, how was it? I'm trying to get it. Ninety two, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. Yeah, in that in that really, my, my memory's a bit short with dates, but we can always reflect on that. So forgive me. You yeah, know, yeah, me. Neither here, Getting right, old now, you know, my teeth are falling out, my head's twatted, my head's, my teeth are falling out. <laughs> but going back to the incident, so anyway, so we we ended up going there, and my, my company was A Company, Alpha Company, was uh, <clears throat> designated to go and go into and keep the checkpoint flowing in, in a crater, yeah. and we were living in armoured vehicles called Pigs. Yeah, that's what they were called, Pigs. I mean, out, we, every night we used to sleep in the Pigs, and uh, go out in, into the sangers, which were dug into the ground, like sand. Have you ever seen Batoon? And then, like, proper, like, trenches with, like, sandbags, but it's, it's actually like a little house yeah, yeah. called the sangers. And we were, we our, our team that night was New Year's Eve. Um, and, you know, we were there gardening. But obviously going back, obviously Gillespie worked in, in the camp. He got then uh, hijacked, kidnapped by the IRA. Put a gun to his head and say, if you don't fucking draw it, if you don't drive that fucking van into the checkpoint, then we're going to kill your family. Wow. Um, it's called the proxy bomb, proxy. And the the, the, the lad, the fella, must have shit himself going for fucking on his wife and kids. Uh, so he was brave. I mean, well, he had no choice, did he? I mean, he just said, "I've just do what I did." Don't don't touch my kids and my wife. It's, it's horrible thinking about that, isn't it? Put yourself in that situation. Yeah, you know, yeah. Christ Almighty, it's awful. So he, most he, of the lads they don't sign up for that, do they? It's just, no, just it's, for a career job. They had no jobs, you know. It was Maggie Thatcher's Britain. Yeah, she hated Merseyside, Liverpool. You know, they were all all on next to nothing. You know, it was hard. You know, I mean, you know, everyone was scrimping and scraping, and hence the the fear. Everyone was trying to survive, and you know, this is what she does. She shut down everything, like the coal miners and stuff like that. Maggie's got a lot to answer for, you know. And, and realistically, you know, you see now people getting done for war crimes. She was definitely one of them, along with Blair and other. Again, that the, the 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 people in power, yeah, who we have elected. I've destroyed us. But look, moving on to the story, yeah. he gets hijacked, well, he, he gets put into a van. Um, he drove it into the checkpoints. Long story short, he detonated it with an eye, uh, a radio control device. Oh. Figuring miles away. It was, uh, it was in a valley, Coshquin, like a valley, and the road was in the middle, and the IRA was sitting off, and they seen the white van go in. As soon as he hit the checkpoints, detonate, thousand pound bomb. Left like a football pitch, just obliterated and then wow. gone. Sad wow. thing is, well, I I passed out with the lads um, with uh, with Stevie Beecham. Um, he was in my my you know on the train and and he he never seen his son. He was supposed to go home and see his son Jordan. I've met who him, and he's and he never met his son. Oh god! And I always see and we always have a, a parade every year. Um, you know, we always turn up and honour the dead, and as you, as you do honour. I mean, I, I see Jordan, and he he comes over, and I, I've made friends with Jordan. So big show for Jordan Beach, and mate, you you there, mate? Your dad lives with you, mate, and he lives with us all. Yeah. As I said before, you know. So anyway, um, God bless the souls and the kings, and the kings regiments, lads, because we're all just there. Most of us just wanted to do something and earn a bit of money, and you know, yeah. unfortunately. We were just put in that circumstance again. Again, politicians, you know, not yeah. doing what they should have done. But, you know, the Irish wanted Ireland to be Ireland. And, and you said as well, going back to the other podcast, that you felt deep down that you really shouldn't have been there. Yeah, I just so. felt, hang on a minute. It's, just, it's like us just waking up and there's all these German soldiers just walking, talking. We're getting uh, searching. You'd be like, fuck off. Yeah. 
and that's the that was the thing. You know what you're doing here? This is our house here. What you, yeah, you know, and this you got, you got lads nosing in, and and also there's been a lot of instances where soldiers abuse the power. You know, which the yeah. Irish would say that, and then we can say, well, the Irish done this. It's again the tip for tat, tip for tat. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to just stay down the line. The facts, you know, I'm not going to take any sides whatsoever. You know, um, and to be honest with you. In, in my eyes, I'm, I'm just an entertainer. I just love doing what I'm doing now, you know. Yeah. I should have been on stage years ago, by the way, and uh, <laughs> done all this. But uh, unfortunately, Maggie Thatcher made me go out and do fucking things that I shouldn't have done. And, uh, but you did a bit of entertaining out there as I well. I was the you? entertainer, yeah. That was. was great. It was the morale. <laughs> Come on, Red. Morale as low as shark shit at the moment. Just pick it up. Pick it up, Sean. Do something. <laughs> So it's just, just a roll on the floor like a, this is a piece of bacon <laughs> turn the oven on and <laughs> start wiggling around that was off Greg Bennett by the way Greg I'm, I'm not nicking your gag there mate but uh, I put the fry deck uh, the sunny side up as well <laughs> just pumping the floor <laughs> there's the yoke money yoking um, so yet yeah, uh, look moving on so the nice New Year's Eve we're in there I had f- four lads to look after I was in, I was commander commander I was NCO I was Lance Corporal Jeff Ollerhead first time in the King's Regiment Sam 24815181 yeah so that was my number yeah. you never, you never, if anybody says that in the army right and and you see these people just ask them what the number was they should rattle off a number 24815181 yeah if they don't rattle a number off then it, the Walter Mitties they call the Walter Mitties stolen for a while yeah they it? just want to be there and they, they bear all the medals that they get off the internet there's, there's cases yeah. now <laughs> it's on Facebook shame on you fucking fella with all these medals like, yeah, you know, I've seen it yeah yeah uh, no. yeah Come on, mate. You know, but I, I mean, he's, yeah. I feel sorry for him now because he's going to live the rest of his life. <laughs> he's like the commanding officer of the Walter Mitty Brigade and it goes to this fella here. <laughs> and ideally, if he probably saved and if he did save an Northern Ireland and he's, he's got that medal, that's it. Yeah. I've only got one medal and that was the Northern Ireland medal. I should have got the other one in Cyprus, um, but there's other stories to be on. I'm, I'm not particularly want medals. I, yeah. It's just experience, you know, fair enough. So back to this night in... Uh, that was the way this so night. Like letting off steam from the trauma and what had just happened. So we're there anyway, but you know, it's, it's again the IRA. It, it, they, we could, they could attack the weaker space because we, there's no friggin' buildings to do it all again. We're all sitting ducks. Yeah. We're in this friggin' sangha. and uh, so I got to uh, um, to go to the the ops room. There's like a little room and what they made and couple of heads. You've got to guard the north sangha tonight. That means the North Road, make sure that nothing comes in that area without being checked, not even anywhere. So I want you to be on alert. Vigilant. Vigilance on alert. It's it's an expected night, uh, very vulnerable. Um, you know, you're out there, you've got the GPMG, General Purpose Machine Gun. You've got a lot of ammunition. You've got your SEATs and all your extra ammunition. You've got flares. You've got, I was like, okay. Great. Some gets down. So as I was going to see the lads who were in that North Sanger, I just seen this like firefly. What a firefly is means it attracts helicopters. Ah, them, right. <laughs> like a fucking disco. <laughs> Can you yeah? I thought fucking out this lads. So as it goes down into the friggin' Sanger, it was uh, Porky Lynch and Kingsman Crone, the fucking off their fucking heads, their eyes, and like that. Uh, <laughs> like looking at me, like, jump on, jump on, jump on. What? Fucking tri- trips. Oh, well, fucking all sorts. Like, what are you fucking German? I'm the fucking commander in it. I just knew then, I was just talking to him, just like, saw like traces come off their heads. Like, I was like, get the fucking, sh-. listen, listen. Next minute, get your fucking heads together. All right, get your heads together. And then we got a right, right, right. Come on, we was the option. So I run to the office room. Come on, we're going to get a visit by the uh, commander of Northern Ireland. Uh, the brigadier is coming. The brigadier is coming. Please make sure your soldiers are ready on the ball. You know. Oh shit! In my head, thinking, shit. These fucking lads are tripping their heads off. They're off the bonnets. Oh my god! I'm going to get the fucking chop. They're going to get the chop. I'm going to get the fucking chop. I'm going to be in Colchester. Yeah. Fucking. 
brushing fucking floors with fucking toothbrushes and getting yip yard, yip yank, yip yank. It was all going on in my fucking head, thinking, oh shit. So I just ran down and then I fucking got them. Let's <laughs> fucking little body shot and, and they're like, look, the brigadier is coming. Do me a favor, get them guns. Make sure that you do not, not turn around, and look at them. All right, don't speak to them. Say your name, Kingsman Crown, Kingsman Lynch, and make sure you look at the arcs. Do not, and I will do all the talking, making sure that we get out of this situation. All right. And I tell you, now, if you do this, mate, you're getting knocked, spark, I'll spark, I tell you. <laughs> I will spark you right out because I've got a career, I've got things, I've got me, uh, at the time, you know, where I was, me, me, me daughter was coming into the world and, oh, Rio, oh, I love you, baby. I give it a big shout. And I, I just had loads of things on me. I had the boxing doing well. I was do, I was doing well in the career and I thought, I'm doing all right here. I'm, I'm, I'm actually making something of me. You don't life. need this. <laughs> but these two fucking, oh, so anyway, bang. Waka, 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 waka. Here comes the chopper. Shit, here comes the brigadier. Mm. Cool on him. Once you Charlie, make sure you're on the landing thing. So I get on the fucking ch- thing. Chopper lands. Out comes the br- brigadier and the entourage. Brigadier's got this fucking thing, you know, it's the, the flapping in the wind. <laughs> and I just straight to, had to go to him because he went, right, let me see the base. I'm like, sir, couple of heads, uh, come with me, sir, and I will show you the, uh, where the, the guard, where the guard are. Come. So I had to run off, jig, 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 you know, like, with all my kids, look the fucking part. Sir, come down, sir. I will tell you this, sir, please do not let soldiers look around because we've got to stay vigilant. Yeah. So, so when he comes into the sang, that, that fucking smell of, like, off your headish, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to smell it in the rave and, like, a bit of arse in there or whatever. Fuck, you know. And they were like, that on the, on the, the lads were like, <laughs> just, like, looking like that. I was. I knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> I said, "Here we go, sir. This is court, uh, sorry, Kingsman, Kingsman Crown and Kingsman Lynch." And the great thing is, what is your name, sir? What's your? I mean, he went. Kingsman Crown, she. <laughs> His fucking eyes was like a like the pizza, like a fucking the Garfield's like a big pizza, spangled. Wow. What's your name, Kingsman Lynch? Yeah. I said, the lads, just keep your eye there. Brigadier, uh, as I said, but this is the our left arc just baffled them with bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Baffled yeah. them with bullshit. Look, don't look there, look over here. Look, your left arc, by the way, sir, this is where the attack should be coming from. This is where they set off the, the RIC, the address of the radio control device. That was there on that mount. If you look right there, sir, that is at the pinnacle. That's where Kingsman uh, Lynch is looking. Kingsman Crone has got the Coswing estate, yeah, which is very, very again, which they could attack from from there. Also, with the Buchanan Road coming straight in at us, we've got to be really vigilant here. Uh, we've got devices, we've got flares, we've got this, the ammunition's good, sir. We are ready to go. <laughs> right, get out. Right out to the sign, and he grabs all of me. He said, that, God, I must admit, that was the most alert soldiers I've ever seen. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell! <laughs> the fucking off the tits. Jesus. And he just, he went off, and I was like... Uh, went that down. <laughs> the bigger deal when I went and I said, Ben, you, yeah. yeah. No, I didn't get on a fucking fuck no. that. <laughs> I just said, this and do your fucking thing. Just, Don't do that again. Don't fucking do just, just come off lead, blast them. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and they've been through all through that. Through it all. Your yeah. threads are gone. You know, they, you listen, when people start getting killed, mate, they, they, it's all right for all these fucking leaders. You get in there yourself, you know. Yeah. I always say to myself, I wish these people who start the war get in there. Get in the trenches. Yeah. You kicked it off. You get in there. This is your war. The front line, yeah. This is your war, not not ours. Yeah. We, we just wanted to have a little laugh in the fucking park and play football, you know, because obviously football and stuff like that, which is another talking point at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I'm an Evertonian. I've got loads of people. I do loads of songs about Everton and at the moment, but, you know, we're playing. But just the luck's going against us. And we had the derby yesterday against Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. I did, make a, I did make a thing, you know, be very wary all you... Uh, Red birds who were chirping away, thinking, yeah, <laughs> deluded with the game itself. That we did give you the game, and we actually, we, you know, we, we stopped you in your tracks, all your Royals Royce players. And we did, we did really well. And realistically, there was two instances where I think clearly it was a foul. All right, he made the meal, Mr. Gordon, Anthony Gordon, one of the best players at the moment, up and coming with Everton. We love you, Anthony Gordon. <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's boss. 
and he, he, he did. He got fouled in the box. It's a penalty. But you don't yeah. get penalties. That have, but, but you know what? There's a lot of big conspiracies about... And what makes it worse? I mean, it's the pundits as well. You've got Jamie Carragher and Sumas, all Liverpool commentating on... So we're, we're, we're on, you know, it's like... it's it's. Hang on a minute. You should step aside and put someone in who's not in that club. Neutral. Get him in. You know, you can hear yeah, them yeah. against us. You know what I mean? And they, they could say what they want to say. But realistically... And the VR and the referee was weak. Shouldn't have been able to manage that game. But look, it's happened again. We've got a battle on. We've got it up against us. Yeah. You know, I've had some great days with Everson um, Football Club when we, in the young. I used to be going there every every game, watching them in the young blues and uh, with the rivalry and stuff. But one story with the island, which I, I, I will recap on, which is the funniest. Uh, I don't think I've told this one. All right, exclusive. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Nice. So whilst in Ireland in, in Victor 2, we had to do patrols, which we'd have to go up the borders and check out the valley, it was, you know, and have a look and keep keep like keep a watch what was moving in the night time. And I we got I got ticked. One two Charlie. One two Charlie, ready to go and patrol. You will patrol the uh, four miles up to that point and back and have a little look on the border. You're yeah. like you're like fucking ducks, you know. They, that that's where the snipers are, you know, and Straight away, you're fucking out there, you know, this could be the one, you know. You go out there and you're walking with your rifle and you're actually in there and, there, and everything's silent and you're just, you're, you're fucking edgy because you, these snipers could uh, shoot at like, I think it was like uh, maybe a kilometre and a half, right? Headshots, just get in the head. Wow. But they're across the border, but you can't fire across the border in Southern Ireland. So you can't fire back? No. Or, no. Ba 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 da ba bam ba ba da like sitting duck ba 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 hit this song yeah. bam bam bam. So one night in particular, because um, the soldiers are, are doing like I think it was doing, we'd have eight hours rest and I think sixteen on, and it was just but at the eight hours rest you had to sleep in your gear with your bulletproof vest on, your helmets and everything. So it's not rest. Yeah, it's just like a cardboard cut. How was he like? We fucking made him and you know. Yeah. You just and you know you know have you ever tried to sleep with your socks on after a bit? You get that. Bain and, and that's what's yeah. happening. You've got to sleep with your boots on because if something goes off, you can't say, wait there, I'm just going to put my boots on. It's all going off. Yeah. It's you need to be ready. So for three months of doing that, it grinds you. Yeah. So we were, f we were just, mo I won't be the technical, we were a bit by the, 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 they call it the mong snake. Where you just you've been you've been been by the man. You just you just been walking and the, 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 the nodding. I've seen lads as soon just falling asleep on the walk and <laughs> as soon as he fall down, go ahead, come on. And one night was dangerous, so it was really raining and it was just like it was a full moon as well. There was no so that our silhouettes were very uh we were so light, I just thought that's look, listen, visible. I just felt I, I felt the uh the, the, the instinct of thing and listen, it's hairy out there tonight, you know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we go on patrol, like, you know, four of us, let's go. And we go and bimble up. And I just seen a barn. I said, let's get in that. So I thought, hang on a minute. If we go in this barn, then we really know that they, they are not going to blow fucking their own cattle up and the sheep and the horses. That's, it's, you know, it's raining. So if we go in there on discreetly, we know we're going to be safe. Well, 99% safe. I'll set up a little fucking, because we get in all these haystacks. Needle in the haystack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all made up like, fucking haystack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Do the duties. I'll get my head down, or I'll do the first stint. Yeah. I'll lead by example. I'll wake you up. You have a sleep. I'll do an hour or two hours, but there's four of us. Do an hour, three hours sleep. Three hours sleep is a fucking lot of time when you can just rest and know. And, you know, vigilance. And I set up uh, between me and you, I set up some fishing wire and decoys. If someone did come in, it would trip it. Do you get what I mean? Like, hey, what's that? And then you fucking know someone's there if it was pitch black in the dark. Yeah. So we had we had things set up and we got our heads down and I you know I done my first stint, woke up at Kingsman, <laughs> I'll, I'll just call him Kingo, woke up Kingo, come on Kingo get up now and went to sleep. Anyway, five o'clock in the morning, I thought right let's go first dawn first the breaks coming up lads come on come on come on, let's go let's go. Let's just go. Took all the trips. Straight, bustle down, fucking man. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Two miles down into the fucking, into the bar, into the, uh, into the thing. Right, man, unload. Unload. <laughs> Goes to the blue. I was getting a cup of tea, blow on him. Get your heads down. Back into the fucking pig. Two hours later, fucking kick, 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 kick. Boot. 
Yeah, fuck him. I was like, fucking hell. Sam Major, get your fucking arse here now. You, what the fuck have you done? What, me? I was being asleep. No, listen to me. Have you been in a fucking barn? Yeah. <sighs> well, whoever's fucking Kingsman fucking Kingo has left this fucking big fucking jobby, big fucking turd with the fucking sign of his name on. A Charlie Wong, which he wiped his ass with and put his name still on it. So, oh, shit. so listen, do me a fucking favor now. Get your ass, get your men, go up there now and get that fucking turd removed. <laughs> I was thinking, it's fucking broad daylight. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Go, get fucking this old city where I'm like, that's the fucking, like, fucking give them all of hell's bells, you know. Yeah. But realistically, you're thinking, shit, here we go again. We're getting put back onto the thing, but it's fucking broad daylight, fucking falling plates. Let's fucking go. But I, I obviously stealth had to go fucking zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. You, you, yeah. you feel it. Imagine someone's fucking sights on you. Yeah. yeah Trying yeah. to pop your fucking head, you know. So we fucking got right up to this fucking barn. There it was. Fucking, he, he must have put like a fucking throne. Massive fucking a long one where he's, he's, he hasn't even had that little break, which is good to remove. <laughs> You know, long, long, like a long one. I say, big torpedo, torpedo. Had his name, so I thought, fucking get up there. I was sweating. I was made up that we got up into the pan. And there it wasn't a fucking farmer. You dirty bastard! You dirty shouldn't have been in there. You shouldn't have been in there. You, you, you done that. You got no respect. You got no. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake! Mm. <laughs> Looking at fucking, and he wasn't asked him, he was just picking his nose with a fella. He's putting you and in the uh, shit again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, we get these kids, they, they go into some, you know, like, uh, they go into that mode where they're just like, they're just not ass mode, like, oh, fuck. Yeah. And they think, oh, shit. So you got to try and motivate him. Come on, just get the, so I thought, fuck this. Uh, hello, hello, Zero. Zero was like the bait. Zero, we require the TRO uh, to come to the location over. Take it over. One, two, Charlie required the TRO, Tango, Romeo, Oscar, to report to the location. Explain, one, two, Charlie, what do you mean by the TRO? I said the third removal officer. <laughs> Fuck up. Get the base now. With the third. <laughs> Fucking wrap the third up. Fucking goes down there and then puts the fucking third on the table. <laughs> There, with the Charlie ones. There you go. Get so, him in so here. What's now. the Charlie ones? Just... Charlie one is a notebook. Okay. It's like, well, he's wiped his ass on, but he's got like a, basically like a, a, a report you, you can do. <laughs> oh, shit. Which would have traced right <laughs> yeah, back. Straight to him. He had no, yeah. We had no way around it, and his name was on it. I was like, fucking hell. Club of Hothead, I'll see you tomorrow on the debts. You know? And then that was the course of stink then, because he knew that I was dosing, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, I was trying to shave me fucking skin, you know. It's going to be happening, and it's crazy. Yeah. Things do wrong, you know. I, I admit, I mean, one time he fell asleep. There's another one. That, stand, stand the man if you're watching this, Kingsman Statham. Stand the man. <laughs> <laughs> we fell asleep in Northern Southern Ireland. <laughs> Got woke up by the guard. No way. It was in this fucking ditch at night time. It was that I'm tired. We ended up just, it was raining. And I, it was just, oh, fuck, get in here. Put our ponchos over. And because we were that tired, we were just fucking, it was asleep. crazy. And then we woke up. And this guard, the police from the in Southern Ireland, we are in the wrong spot. And it was like, yeah, you're half a kilometer and you shouldn't have weapons. I was like, go, 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 fucking legging across. Shit. Legging across the freaking fields, you know what I mean? No way. Not like the fucking hell. Wow, wow, wow. Got to get another report in a minute, you know. And, you know, I at one stage, I just fucking, it was good because I was lucky with the boxing and then, you know, I got my number. I remember getting chopped out. Couple of heads, you can be respected for the army boxing team once again get on the chopper and you're gone I was like yeah like some other now I'm like uh, uh, the king uh, buckle 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 going away and going to box you know back into track suits and running around and yeah. fighting for fun yeah give me some of that yeah, I love some of that <laughs> great no, you know it's fucking brilliant I mean that I look back but they were I tell you what whew. but it was all the kids I mean people don't realise that when you're walking around but in Ireland you, you, it's like in the summer you've got all your kits on with the combat vest and the plate your radio and you've got, you got the I'll I, I just call it electronic countermeasures which obviously stops radioactive uh, radioactive radio radio control devices right okay and they weigh a ton 
These yeah. like big metal with the batteries, and he had a killing spear. Man. We called it Racket Jack, and you got Racket Jack. Because it's like Racket Jack, Racket Jack. Rack. Oh, and that's the right. opinion, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You get friggin'. That's it's why, you know, it's man. exhausting. But the thing is, I mean, I'm I'm 51, and like seven, six years ago, I, got, I had to get a hip replacement because the, the joints of all the weight just wear the way, you know. So yeah. it destroys you. Hands off, like, was li living in puddles and. You know, slept them when it was iced over. That's the worst one. And hyperfemia and Otterburn. I've done Breck and Beacons where there was like a commander's course in in winter. Winter Brecken. Oh, come with me. And mm. I've cried with with hail. With uh, imagine a gale force wind with hail. And yeah. you and the hail's like it's just you just might as well get a bucket now. And I swear to God, yeah, I'm just shooting you with buckets of like in your face and your yeah. arm. And he said, are you crying, Corporal Allahead? I said, it's just the ice. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Hands freezing, you know. You, and it always makes you think about the uh, the time with, um, in Russia, when the Russian, when, when Germany invaded Russia, you know, it was the biggest mistake Hitler made. If he would have went the other way, we would have been talking Nazi or German now, you know. Yeah. I've either seen and <laughs> almost did the lungs to get the Hanston and the Hanston, you know. <laughs> but unfortunately, you know, he went that way, which then the winter killed the army because coldness. Right, yeah. Ooh, okay. yeah, try yeah. Like you, you think, you, I mean, just, just imagine going to sleep rough. And well, it's like you gotta have, you know, you gotta sh you sh you sh have shites and stuff and you'd expose yourself in the winter. You know, the worst thing is having the shite when, when it's blowing a hoolie. Yeah, yeah. And you get, you, I remember one time, it was like leaning over a branch, right, just on the, on the, in the woods thinking, because I didn't want a couch because you usually fall over the freaking window. So I had this branch and I, I, the, the first lock come out and it snapped. So the fucking shit ended up in my pants. I didn't have any spare pants because it's like, wait, pulled it up, me, so I was humming. Pum, pum, tang. <laughs> and then it, that night, it was funny because we only listened to me on stag and the lad's like freezing. This lad's like getting hyperthermia. Stitch ham. I'll get in with you and both of us stunk as shit as the god oh, yeah. like in a sleeping bag like that it's next minute you get in the ring sting yeah because obviously shit and you can't get a shot trying to get a wash it was just fucking horrendous you know yeah. and then you got to get up and walk and march and stuff like that you know and and all along it's getting controlled by a little few as we know you know yeah. nowadays yeah yeah it's a shame isn't it like what we, people have to go through and was no joke is it <laughs> it's not at all man. do you know it's 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 a shame you know but why do we need it's it's just one person who's decided right well oh, oh, let us blame a lot of them because they're in control of our lives you know why are they letting this happen but you know it's it just certainly just made them. and that's why i just thought we just like spiders in the bath yeah, that's yeah. that's a good thing to... You know, you imagine a spider gets so far and he thinks he's going to get everything and then all of a sudden he's back down into the fucking plug all where they want you. Yeah. I wrote a song about that, you know, um, Spiders yeah. in the Bath, yeah. Yeah, you did. It's one of my favourite, actually. You like that one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hold on, let's have a little go. A little blast. Jeff Allahide with Spiders in the Bath. It's a bit cramped, but we'll have a little go. Who planned this... Can you understand it? Who feels the same as I do? What evil committed such crimes? They think we're blind as often as they do. Oh no, we get no answers. They take the chances in the evil that they do. Oh no, they grin and laugh as we're all just spiders in the bath. They control us, they behold us, they own all our worldly needs They're not human They have no souls And one day It will all will be revealed Oh no, we get no answers They take the chances 
for the evil that they do. Oh no, they grin life as we roll just spiders in the bath. Where's our freedom? Where is the light? They're slowly killing us without a fight. There's a war that we don't know. Sit back and watch the show. Oh no, we get no answers. They take the chances for the evil that they do. Oh no, they grin and laugh as we roll your spiders in the bath. As we roll your spiders in the bath. Wow. There you go. <laughs> awesome. I actually love that track. Thank I, you very much. When I first heard it, it was like I could hear, like without the guitar and sort of like dancey sort of thing. And I did try and make a little remix, yeah. but the um, you just got to get sh- together. And, and you know what? Listen, just it, need to re-record the vocals. Yeah, it's just it's, it's it's one of them. It's there, you know. And as I said, but it's a long process. I I just personally know it's a project. Yeah. And with the time, what I'm doing and you doing and whatever, but I've sent you whatever. We just gotta gotta get the right tempo maybe I have to grid it yeah yeah send yeah. you the stem again you know because um, I've done it I, I first I wrote that really it's it's crazy that's one of the uh, one of the fastest songs I've ever wrote right um, and I always feel as though like um, they're the best ones when you just wake up yeah and obviously with the frustration what that was when the lockdown you know was happening yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I just thought this is just getting under control where we can't go out and do this and and then it was getting to me and I just wanted to release. And I always think that, some, you know, like what the Beatles did and stuff, there's a thing called the Ash, hang on, I gotta get it, the Ashkatic Records, or there's a natural uh, universal Wi Fi you can plug into. Right. Like the likes of Nicole Tesla, the fellow who invented free energy and he got killed again. Yeah, he right. had it all sorted. He had an electric car. This is going back in the 1800s. Hello. Right. And he, wow. actually, he actually harnessed energy, free energy, but they just got onto him. Yeah. But there you go. And that's the spot. And so what I'm trying to say to you, um, I just sat there with the beat and it just come. And it, luckily enough, I just wrote it down and the tune, I thought, oh, that's nice. And the chord change and stuff. And, yeah, yeah. And within half an hour, it was there. It was like, wow, if I just done that, I wrote it down and put it on. And, and I got the response from yourself and many others. Yeah. And it's actually on Spotify with the Ice Cream Robots bands. Yeah. Brilliant. Please listen to it with the spiders in the bath. Um, we've done another one as well, which is funny, but uh, which is put your mask back on. I don't even hear this one. Yeah. All right. This is called Put Your Mask Back On, you know, and obviously in the COVID uh, periods. Um, yeah. This COVID shit is getting me down. Gotta wear a mask like a stupid clown. I don't know, it's a horrid disease. Bringing the whole world to its knees. Oh, my mate, don't you know? To crawl is all, keep us a toe. Wear your mask or you get fired. The government make money all of the time. Whoop up, banani, pop up the party. Whoop up, banani, people get a naughty. Whoop up, banani, put your mask back on. <laughs> Whoop up banani, pop up the party. Whoop up banani, people get a naughty. Whoop up banani, put your mask back on. COVID 19, you're a killer machine. Shattered all future dreams. Where did you come from, you dirty little proton? <laughs> Away from China, killing major to minor. Where did you come from, you dizzy little proton? <laughs> Whoa, whoop up banani, pump up the party, whoop up banani, people get a naughty, whoop up banani, put your mask back on. Whoop up banani, pump up the party, whoop up banani, people get a naughty, whoop up banani, put your mask back on. 
This COVID shit is getting me down. Gotta wear the mask like a stupid clown. I don't know, it's a horrid disease. Bringing the whole world to its knees. Oh, my mate, don't you know to control us all? Keep us in tow. Wear your mask or you get fined. The government make the money all of the time. What about banani? Bump up the body. What about banani? People getting hurty. What about banani? Put your mask back on. <laughs> Yeah. Whoop up banani, pump up the party. Whoop up banani, people got a naughty. Whoop up banani, put your mask back on. Wow. <laughs> there you go. That's on Spotify as well. Yeah. That's awesome. Really soulful as well. On YouTube, yeah, yeah. That's just Pick some good notes there, man. <laughs> that is not naughty. But you know, we, it sounds good. We have the harmonies and yeah. I think and, that's what why I liked your voice so much as well. It's got that blues sound. Thank to you it, very so much. Yeah, really it comes good. from the show. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I was born. <laughs> Little town, just like the river, I've been running ever since. Wow, well, it's you been got a long... such a voice, man. Honestly, well, I think God has blessed me with a voice, and 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 what I'm doing, getting the Guardian saying, you know, my, you know, what I always think, like John Lennon did, a song can yeah. change people's perception. And I really want to keep pumping the tunes out and giving people something to think. And, and I really do. I want, you know, I always ask the universe, universe, give me a song that can change the world for all for the better into yeah. the love and light. So thank you very much for having me on your show. No. The Marty Hardy Show. <laughs> <laughs> I.E. Media. Yeah. It's great, mate. Maybe, maybe I'll change it to that at some point. Oh, yeah. Honestly, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, really do appreciate it. Yeah. It's been good. We've really both off each other on me, yeah. So. Yeah. And and definitely if people are listening to this on the audio apps, don't forget to go over to my YouTube channel and check out the video version of this and other content. And do you want to shout out your channels for yeah, the audio? Once listeners? again, yeah, I'm on Facebook, uh, you know, the pages Jeff Ollerhead, J Double F O Double L E R H T A T. The Saints of Sounds. I uh, play over in Liverpool and Smokies on a Wednesday, on a Friday, on a Saturday. That's Smokies and uh, Great Charlotte Street. On a Sunday, I do Nelly Foley's on Great Charlotte Street and also the Kaiser Keller, Saturday Nights. Nice. That's next to the Rubber Show down Matthew Street with the Beatles Museum next door. Down into the basement, come down, say hello. Please follow me on Instagram as well, Jeff Follinard. My YouTube channel is the same, Jeff Follinard. And also, I've got a podcast like himself called Uzi, as in UZI, bam, bam, bang. Uzi <laughs> Talking To. Yep. So I love all your subscriptions and your comments and feel free. I'm here. Thank you very much, Marty Hardy. It's oh, the Marty Hardy Show. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Don't forget to reach out to Jeff and it's uh, very approachable. And please Definitely. subscribe once again for our Safi and Lil channel. Saf Lil. Okay, I've got to plug that again because I'll be getting... Yeah. I'll be getting marked. You can send me some links and I'll, yeah, I'll put them great. in the It's in great. The yeah, she has a laugh. Yeah. Thank you once again. God bless. Yeah. Save the world. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Yes, mate. Yeah. Try, and, try and do the touch. Try and do the touch. Back. Yeah, I'll touch you, brother. <laughs> nice one. Cheers, listeners. Take care. Appreciate it. Bye. Here we go. <laughs>